three, two, one. There we go. All right, cool. So basically, we're going to build the shop as fast as possible. And once you build the shop, that unlocks turnips. And then from there, just try to get like good patterns on the turnips. Cheats is beast. Accepting friend request stream when? How many did I have? I wasn't looking. I could show you how long it takes. If I wasn't on a timer right now, I could show you how long it takes. I had 76. Well, that's weird because I used to have... I wonder if they expire after a while. Because I used to have 99 plus. I used to have 99 plus. So I guess they must expire after a while because I just kind of let them sit there after a while. I mean, yeah, I'll actually put in my name. I wonder, would there be... Yeah, you know what? There would be a benefit to making your birthday... What day do I have the Switch set on right now? What day do I have the Switch set on right now? Um... 22721. Zooey mama. Um... Well, yeah, let's make our birthday, like, just our regular birthday, and then we'll time travel to this day so we can get miles quickly. That is my birthday. It's coming up. That's time loss? Oh, you need to relax. We're not going for world records. I don't think this is even an official category, is it? All right, then we got to make our bloke here. There. Here. You want to make your official how to make your face? This is how to make your diagonal. It's like Build-A-Bear. Is build a diagonal. There you go. That's how to make your own diagonal at home. He's got them upside down eyelashes. Oh wait, did I do the wrong eyes? No, I didn't. That's the classic diagonal. Yeah, he's got the T. He's got the T. He mouth. I live in North America. Oh no, the base one. I hate those eyes. Are you still world record at Desert Island Escape Intermediate? I don't know. I haven't checked it. Somebody go check that. Go on speedrun.com. Search the game Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Go to the Desert Island Escape category. Yeah, this island's fine. And then go intermediate. And then I should be at the top. Why gray hair? Because I'm fucking old as shit compared to you guys. I looked at the average age of my Twitch viewers. You guys want to know what it was? Eight. 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 Cap? What do you mean? I don't- I'm too old to know what that is. Dude, I'm 27? Yeah, 20- so, so it showed me, like, the- the- what do you call that? Median mode and range? The- the mean was 8. The range was between 3 and 29, okay? There's a 3-year-old that watches my stream. Three. Yeah. What is... What three-year-old is on Twitch? I don't know, dude. One that watches me, apparently. The numbers don't lie. You're gonna call me a liar. Call the numbers the liar. You're the only one listed? Fuck yeah. That three-year-old will grow up to be a Dagnal super fan. I'm gonna be that guy's dream SMP. What's the oldest? It was 29 was the oldest. But a scoot. I got Buck and Cherry. That's pretty good, actually. Buck's French name is Daniel. Gotta raise him right. Average age is eight? Dude, it just is. I'm sorry, okay? Twitch tells me all these numbers. Lies? I'm older than 29? Well, obviously, you, mi you mistyped your Twitch age, then. Buck is French for Dagnal? No, it's French for Daniel, I guess. I'm nine? That's insensitive. I don't think nine-year-olds have much emotion. You can't really hurt the feelings of a nine-year-old, because they'll just fucking, like, Fortnite dance on you. When did you check last? I literally check this shit every day. 
And it's concerning because every day, the number, the average age of my chat room goes down. I'm not going to show you. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I don't think I can do that. It goes down every day. It's kind of scary. Eventually, I'm going to have like a average age of like five. Is wild, dude. He's obsessed with us. He loves us. Wait, where did Buck go? He was just right here. I guess since I put my thing down here. He had to scurry off somewhere else. There he is. He is like a nasty green, though. I gotta be honest with you, man. If I was that green, I don't think I'd ever leave my house. Looks good to me. I'm glad Twitch wasn't in my life when I was a teenager. Are you sure? It's been around since, like, 2008. He's beautiful. I like his eyebrows. I don't like his color, though. He's like a fish green. Bro, is moss green, yeah. There you are, chair bear. I didn't even start watching Twitch until 2021. I was watching this shit in like 2014, man. There you go, looks good to me. You know what I saw the scariest video the other day? And this seems like a fucking like forward from grandma. It seems, you guys remember like email chains? Where you'd get an email, and it'd be like, forward, 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 re, re, re. Funny video, LOL. I know what I'm about to say sounds like a video that you would get in one of them email chains back in the day. But there was a video of a child who was sleeping, and in his sleep, he was going like this. Because he's used to having a tablet in front of his face. And I'm like, at first I didn't think it was real, and I still am not cons I'm still not sold that it's real, to be honest with you. Forward this to 40 people or you'll die a horrible death. Forward this to 15 of your closest friends or you have good luck for the next year. That's a bit dystopian. Yeah, isn't it? Dude, that's a little fucked up. I was a little bit like, that can't be real. This is my first time in stream. Welcome. You've just lost your stream virginity. Yeah, we don't need to grab extra sticks. Not even close to Wii Bowling? What the fuck? This is, of course it's not Wii Bowling. Who the hell wants me to play Wii Bowling today? It's not even the best sport in Wii Sports. Get over yourselves. Literally, baseball, 10 times out of 10, clowns Wii Bowling. Oh, fuck. What did I need? 10? Oh, shit. I don't even know my own game. 10 times out of 10, Wii Baseball clowns Wii Bowling. Golf is better than Wii Bowl. It's literally the worst of all the sports, dude. Fucking golf is better than that. And honestly, you guys want a hot take? You want, like, a fucking scorcher here? Tier list of Wii Sports sports. In order of best to worst. Baseball, tennis, golf, boxing, bowling. Boxing is the worst by a mile. It's the second worst. You know what's better than Wii Sports Golf? GTA Golf? GTA Golf is fucking awesome. If a game has golf, it's the best game of all time. It's an automatic game of the year candidate. Erm wrong? Don't erm wrong me. I'm right, because I'm the streamer and I'm the one who's live right now. L take? It's not an L take, man. It's a very reasonable, sensible take. What about PGA 2K23? I think I think I got the game from like like 2K21 maybe. It was okay. Yeah, I own a golf game. Okay. Oh, I was gonna name the island Dagnall, <laughs> but wait, hang on. What am I naming this island? What am I naming this island? Fuck! I didn't even think about this. Usually, I ask you guys. Bezos. Name it Shid? Why not Dagnall? It's a little... Because it's a little, like, fucking... It's a little self-inflating, don't you think? Amazon. Amazon. 
It might get banned for having it be in a, in, in a bad word, though. Make all your villagers work for pennies and overwork them. That's the plan. And not let them use bathroom breaks. Make them shit themselves. Oh yeah, they all fucking love Amazon. They're ready to soar. They're ready to serve their corporation. They're ready to lick their boots. Oh, was Swoleville there? Oh, I wonder who suggested that. A word or two. You always got to hit them with a word or two. No pissing on Amazon Island. Mm -mm. Get a little tube and attach it to your ding dong, and a little bottle at the bottom of your leg. Or Capitalist Corp, baby. Should have named it Little Wayne. Why would I name it Little Wayne? Oh shit, I talked to the wrong rat. Mmm, the comfort catheter. Ew, why did you say that? What the hell is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Serious? Oh my god. I don't think those two words should go together. Alright, here we go. I love mac and cheese. Okay, this is fucked up. But I read that comment as... I read that comment in the tune of that song that goes like... I love rock and roll. I read that in my head as... I love mac and cheese. That fucking just... That, that made me want to die. That made me want to like die on the spot. I want to shrivel up and die right now. That's how it was intended? That makes I, I don't know why. That makes me want to fucking puke. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Diagonal cringe? Whatever, dude. Add it to the compilation. Anyone working on a diagonal cringe compilation right now? Bro, what is going on? I don't know, dude. I've played this I've, I've played the beginning of this game. 100,000 times, okay? I can't talk about the game. I have to talk about something else. I have to talk about something else. I can't say, oh, well, we're going to bed now, and we're going to wake up, and it's going to be daytime now, and now I'm going to get my Nook phone, and then I'm going to start working on getting the shop built. We literally, like, it's just nothing to talk about. Glad to finally be a part of your stream. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. I thought he was a tree. I slept that long? Do I bet? I had one of these days today where I don't think I ever woke up. I don't I don't think even now I'm awake right now. I don't think I'm even awake right now. I've just been like asleep and sleepwalking this entire day. I love your hair today. Thanks. Can we have a Discord movie night? What's the movie? Sure have. Hey, by the way, Dagnum, what do you think about Mario turning into a fucking Republican? Well, first of all, calm down with the language. Second of all, um, I believe you're referencing him turning into an elephant in the new 2D side-scroller game. So, third of all, that dude is a Republican anyway. That dude was totally far and away a Republican. You think Mario is like a progressive... Do you think that Mario is prog Is Wario a libertarian? A blue-collar man, of course, right? He even has the red hat with the M on it. And it that means... Mm, fuck. Um, that means... MAGA. What'd you think it stood for? What'd you think it stood for? He has a red hat with a big M on it. Wario is non-binary. His outfit is the non-binary colors. Holy shit, wait, you're right. Wait, wouldn't that make Mario bisexual isn't he kind of like got the bisexual colors on well good for him you know good for him no 
What are the bisexual? Somebody post the bisexual flag. Purple is missing. Oh, so Waluigi is bisexual. Okay. Paradise planning photo. Simple DIY workbench. We got to do the thing. Right. Yeah, let's get our Nook Miles and then let's also... Right, you got to take a picture. Wario and Waluigi are related? Bro, they're all related. It's kind of fucked up to think about, but Mario and Waluigi are related. Because they're all like brothers, right? Uh, change the sign. Waluigi is Envy and Mario is American. Oh, yes. What's your sexual orientation? American. It feels like something Hank Hill would say. Alright, here we go. They're just brothers from another mother. Is that right? Like, actually canonically correct? Is Rosalina gonna be in the new games? I don't know! What do I look like? Satoru Iwata himself? Mario is BLT? I can't tell if that's actually like a new age term, or if you're genuinely calling him a sandwich. Can you please tell me? Because, dude, I gotta be- I gotta keep up with these terms, man. Life is passing me by, and I can't pick up all these terms along the way. Is BLT gonna be a new word I start seeing people call themselves soon? Or are you genuinely calling him, a, like, a sandwich? You'll never know, I guess? Please, I need to know, dude. I gotta stay hip. You don't even know, streamer man? No! It's the sandwich. Oh, okay. I am such a BLT right now. Like, I just, I don't know, dude. I just thought, I was trying to be, whatever. I'm trying to stay on top of it, okay? A lot of terms out there that confuse me anymore. I'm trying my best, okay? Yeah, BLT, a bro I'd like to... Wait, wait hang on. You said bro I'd like to T star 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 star. What do you mean? What did, wait, hang on. What's the T stamp? What is that? Why are you censoring it? Wait, what kind of, what kind of bad word is it? Touch? It's not a bad word. It's not even a bad word. Tickle. Don't tickle Mario. Do not tickle Mario. Do not tickle Mario. I bet he would hate that. You'd like the tongue, Mario? Tickles Mario? <laughs> Stop with that! Alright, where's the other one? Where's fucking Buck, dude? There he is. That gives me miles. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then after my birthday miles, which I think was 2,000, so I need 500 more. I need 500 more. And then if I buy and sell something quickly, then I can... Let me get some apples to sell. If I buy and sell something quickly, then I'll have enough miles after I time travel to my birthday. Why are all the tags in this stream help? Are they? I don't do my tags. Somebody else does that for me. My manager. Girl, have you ever dealt with Joy-Con Drift? You know what's funny? Never Joy-Con Drift, but Pro Controller Drift, yes. Yes, Pro Controller Drift I have dealt with. For some reason. Never Joy-Cons, though. Blink twice if you need help. Dude, I'm gonna blink like a thousand times before this stream is over. I'm not gonna, like, hold my eyes open to try to convince you that I don't need help. Mmm. Yeah, I have Procon Drift. In fact, I've had two of them start doing it. Yeah. Never Joy-Cons, though, but that's because I don't joy- I don't use Joy-Cons barely ever. Alright, so we're gonna do the DIY tutorial. Oh yeah, I should've grabbed more sticks for doing the stupid DIY tutorial. Thanks for the hydrate. I just- what? Why did you post this? Why'd you just post that I woke up covered in pee? Why did you say that? Go, take a shower. 
Like, go wash your clothes and wash your bed sheets. Goodness gracious. I did clean myself. That makes you sound like a dog. That makes you sound like a, like you just like licked yourself. That was the three-year-old. Ramen or Alfredo? Definitely Alfredo. I went to a really good Italian restaurant, um, pretty recently actually, and I got the most banging Alfredo I ever have had. I can't remember the name of the stupid place though. I got the most banging Alfredo, and they gave you like breadsticks, and then they would like shave some cheese off on the Alfredo, and then they would keep going until you told them to stop. I don't remember the name of the stupid place. Olive Garden, thank you. Oh my god, it's probably the most like genuine Italian place I've ever been to. It's so good. You're making me hungry. You're making me hungry. That's sad? Why is that sad, dude? Why is that sad? That's not sad. The breadsticks. Oh my god, they're so good. Ugh. Were you a funny guy and respond with when when telling them to stop your cheese? No, what? I just tell them like Alright, that's good. When they when they do the cheese at Olive Garden. When you guys want them to stop, what do you tell them? Because I'm just like... Alright, that's good. When it, when it's good. I do like a lot of cheese, though. I say when? Stop! Work! Right, go! Fucking stop! The fuck is wrong with you, dude? I say, that's good, thanks. See, that's very sensible. That's very sensible. I don't tell them. I just make them shred the whole block of cheese. Bro, they, they do the whole block of cheese. The cheese is piled up like a foot off of your plate. And you're like, you look them in the eye. Another block. Okay. What is Olive Garden? It's the best Italian restaurant, most genuine, authentic Italian restaurant you'll ever want. You're extra funny today, Dax. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Alright, rat. Rat bastard. What about Fazoli's? I don't know. I'll take a look. Actually, no, I won't. I decided against it. Genuine, authentic. Dude, it is! Applebee's, Olive Garden, Burger King. The most authentic cuisine that you'll find here in America. Not the fast food Italian. It's not fast food, dude. If you go down and sit... If you just sit down in the restaurant and have them bring the food to you, that's not fast food. That's not fast food at all. My mom works at Applebee's. Does she bring home some, like... Dude, that must be awesome. Does she ever bring home some, like, breadsticks or something? Or, like, mozzarella sticks? That actually sounds fucking awesome. I'm really sad that of all, this, all the stuff I've said in this chat, my pee situation is the only one you've noticed. Well, okay. Be maybe because, friend... Maybe because your chat history consists of you saying balls, 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 and a bunch of emojis. And then, yeah, okay. Maybe it's kind of no wonder, right? And then you woof, woof like a big dog. That's not the only... Well, maybe that is the only one I've noticed because I feel like, you know, the rest of your comments have little to do in regards to... You know, things to talk about, really. I feel like that's why, though. I'm not trying to goof your ass, but still. Alright, here we go. 
And now, is this 500 or is this 300? Fucking 300. Thank God my history is clean. You don't want to tempt me now. Shamed. Named and shamed. When you say millionaire, do you mean million in the bank or collecting a million total? Million in the bank. Don't ever check my chat history, please. Yeah, no problem, vibe giga shit. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I won't do that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, give me a fucking... Yeah, let me get a fucking... Uh... Let me get a fucking magazine. Give me a Sports Illustrated. I'm afraid to say things now. Don't be afraid to say things. But if you make an ass out of yourself, and then you're like, Oh, why don't you ever read any of my comments? That's it's easy, you know? You ain't got nothing on me? No, not yet. Keep up that little attitude of yours, and maybe I will, though. Alright, now we time travel to get our birthday miles. Say what you want, and Dag will judge us all eventually? Yeah, kind of like God, right? Are you implying that I'm, like, a sort of god in a way? Like, you know, you'll all go to heaven one day and I'll be there to judge you? Yeah, actually, that's a good comparison. Yeah, god. Hello from Australia. Hi. I have a big bowl of mashed potatoes. See, if you just make normal comments like that, I'll never audit you guys. You need to understand. Just post shit about, like, what you're eating. And then I'll never audit you. Like, oh, I just watched fucking mashed potatoes. That's great. That's a, just a wholesome comment. That's just a great comment. There's nothing to, like, be bad about that. I got ice cream. That's great. I'm happy for you. I eat dirt. Yeah, I mean, you know... If you ask me, does the average chatter of your stream eat dirt? I'd probably assume so. Gringles. What the hell is a Gringle? Alright, very good. Can you say hi to my partner, Gray? They said that they're listening to your stream at work. Is that how you say it? Gray? G-R-E-I? Yeah, here we go. Hi, Gray! Glad that you're sneaking in some Twitch time when your boss isn't looking to watch some twitch.tv slash diagonal. Sure hope you're enjoying the live stream that you really probably shouldn't be watching right now. If your boss was around the corner right now, I would definitely peek into your little cubicle there to make sure that you're actually doing your work. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Happy birthday. Alright, cool. <laughs> Get to work! And birthday bag. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. What's your opinion on green grapes? Uh, not as good as red grapes, but, you know, I could definitely chow down some green grapes any day. About my moving fees. Alright, so we get our house paid off. We... Time travel to the next day. He'll start to prompt me to... I forget how this whole game works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I build my house and then they start talking about building the shop. I build the shop and then after I build the shop, then I can start working on turnips. And it's easy. Happy birthday, Dagno. Thanks! Appreciate... You know... It took 50 minutes of streaming for you guys to remember that it's my birthday today. It took you guys 50 minutes to hear happy birthday. And I really thought that you guys cared about me. I really did. I thought you guys cared about me. Better late than never. You know, I guess that's true. Some people never hear happy birthday when it's their birthday, you know? I guess in that sense, I'm pretty lucky, right? Your birthday is July 2nd, sir. I mean, that's, like, literally a week away, so, like, maybe they're just getting a head start, you know? You guys ever celebrate a half-birthday? 
Thanks for the hydrate. You guys ever celebrate, like, half birthdays? Seems like kind of, like, only kid syndrome if you do that. My birthday is celebrated every year? My half birthday is celebrated every year? Really? I almost... Okay, what the fuck, dude? I almost died in utero, so yeah? What the fuck does that have to do with celebrating your half birthday? The hell does that have to do with anything? Why did you even say that? I'm sorry, but goodness gracious. Because you're grateful for every day. I guess that's a good way to look out for it. My birthday is Wednesday. What's Friday, dude? That's like, that's like almost a fucking week away. I don't care. Like, maybe, call me when it's like Wednesday, okay? I don't care about a birthday. That's like a week in advance. What did you get for your B-Day? What did I get for my birthday? I don't know. I assume I got a big old bunch of gifts just waiting in my mailbox from you guys. From all the birthday gifts that you got me. So I don't know. I have, guess I'll have to see in a little bit here. Alright, so they're going to be talking in resident services here. We have the same birthday. What day of the week were you guys born on? Wait, they're not talking. I didn't confirm the stupid house expansion. I, just, I always make this mistake. I always make this stupid fucking mistake. You have to not only pay off the debt, but then you have to- I always make this fucking mistake. So stupid. The fact that you have to pay it off and then confirm it after you pay it off. I was born on a Sunday? So you're the Lord. It's hard to remember back that far. Well, you can just Google what day is and then your birthday and it'll tell you. Mine was a Tuesday. My appendix might burst? Uh-oh. You guys are fucking insane. You guys are insane. Oopsie poopsie. My appendix, my little appendix might just burst. Go! <clears throat> Go! Go to the hospital! My birthday is the 25th of December. I never have to experience the awkwardness at work. That's kind of cool, actually. Or maybe it's lame having your birthday be on Christmas. I don't know, is that lame or is that great? I guess it's good for what you said. You don't have to celebrate birthday at work. But it kind of was, it kind of sucks, though, not celebrating your birthday when you're in school, though. Because I had that, because my birthday is in summer break, so I never celebrated my birthday in school. And I was, like, kind of lame, because I wanted everyone to, like, throw a party for me. <laughs> birthday is the 29th of December? Yeah, so, like, we never got our birthdays in school. They, like, had a whole- they would sing, like, a whole song for all the birthday kids. And I never got it. Thanks, Faith, for the 13 months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. And Joanna, thanks for the four months, eight minutes ago. I missed that. Birthdays are always something to celebrate. You said it, Buster. You said it. You guys like frozen Kool-Aid? I don't even like regular Kool-Aid. Regular Kool-Aid. I don't know. It reminds me of, like, being a kid in, like, a bad way. I don't like it. Birthdays be become another day when you grow up. Kind of. I never celebrated my birthday in school either, but that's only because my parents always kept me home. I mean... I guess that's a good way to spend your birthday, right? I'm autistic. I don't want people to stare and sing at me. I don't think most people like that, though, you know? It's just weird. Like, what do you do when people are, like, singing happy birthday to you? You're just like... It's kind of like sitting there, waiting for it to be over. It's so awkward. Is it the streamer's birthday? Yeah. The big four zero. Oh, 
Looking like a tomato when that happens. Be like, way by fucking orple. You're 40? Yeah, what do you mean? Wow, double digits! Yeah? You look great for 40? I was not born in 1945, dude, okay? I was born in 83. What's that? He is not 40 skull emoji? Well, skull emoji me. You look like you're 20-something. Well, I was 30-something, and now I'm 40-something. Not that hard to believe, right? Happy 4th B-Day, bagel. It's okay to admit that you're 45. I'm not 45, dude. Every stream I learn more things about Dagnall that make me question his upbringing. Um, well, my mom might be watching the stream. She could probably offer some explanation. I mean, she's literally, like, in the other room. You want to talk to her? You can tell us your real age. It's okay. I just told you I'm 40. I turned 40 today. Alright, I want to sell some stuff. This is his retirement. Why do you think I'm playing a game like Animal Crossing, dude? And not like Valorant. Mm. Swallow an ice cube. Because I'm too old to be playing games like that, you know? I'm too old to be playing like Valorant. I can't play games like that, guys. I have to play Animal Crossing because I can't keep up with those fast-paced shooty bang games. I can't do it. My response time is horrible, yeah. And people on voice chat be saying, like, fucking cap. And I'm like, guys, I don't get it. I don't understand. These people are too young. The average demographic of the average Valorant player is too young for me, dude. Wait, where's my axe? How do you make an axe? Oh, wait, don't you have to buy the axes? Uh, yeah, what's for sale? What the fuck are my axes, dude? Actually, how do you get axes? Like, am I stupid? When do you learn to get an axe? <laughs> I've played this game. I got like 2,000 hours in this game, dude. Pick up a rock? I've picked up, like, three rocks. Don't you need to start the houses? No, I have to build the shop. It's the tool package DIY? What, this one for beginners? I thought this was just furniture, though. I thought this was just furniture. Oh, that's right! I have to donate the fish to Nook. You're right. You're totally right. And I have to get the museum bill. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, that was a waste of money, then. No, it wasn't the DIY for beginners. I'm pretty sure the DIY for beginners is just furniture. Yeah. Alright, that's fine, though. Got me more miles. Why do you have to stream so late? I mean... I can't revolve the stream time around you. It's only 5.50 for me. That's pretty early. Boops, Timmy Snoot? What the hell is his snoot? Can't you though? No, not really. That's a nose? Okay, thank god. It's 4 p.m. for me. I feel like <laughs> this is just subtle ways of doxing, you guys. I was gonna ask, like, what all- what everyone's time zone is right now. And, like, my- my- I have, like, a guy in the background that's recording all this data about you guys, and I'm gonna, like, figure out your exact locations by your answers. It's doing a little light doxing of you guys. What the fuck, dude? Oh, I got a stupid-ass can. 11pm for me? Okay, I've already narrowed down your time zone. There's probably like 10 million people in your time zone. So I basically have a 1 in 10 million chance of getting it right. 
Do you have terms for becoming a millionaire? Yeah, just don't uh, use online, like Nokazan or other people. That's it. Yeah, just one million in the bizank. See, you think I sh you think I should call it that? The bizank. You guys like that? What if I called it the bizank? No. What do you mean? That'd make you sound cool. I think so, too. I think so, too. I think if I called it, like, one million bells in the bizank, I think I'd gain a lot of respect from the youth for how cool I am. I think so. I think it'd make you hip with the kids. Yeah, exactly. Happy birthday, Dag. Thanks. Showing your age. I'm not showing my age, dude. If I was going to show my age, I would do this. Now I'm showing you my age. You definitely don't sound 40? Okay, that's fine to say that like I don't look 40. Because I look fantastic for my age. What does that mean that I don't sound like I'm 40, though? What do you mean that I don't sound like I'm... What, because I don't sound like... When I talk? How are the kids? I don't have kids. Are you kidding me? What kind of facial moisturizer do you use? I actually don't moisturize. It's just good jeans. He's in his three-quarter life crisis? I'm not in my three-quarter life crisis, okay? If 40 is three-quarters of the way through your life, dude, you're gonna die at 60. That's not very old, okay? I think I'm gonna at least make it to, like, 95. Which means I'm not even at my midway crisis. My midlife crisis. And also, I'm not... Okay, first of all, my crisis is not dependent on which stage of my life I'm in, okay? I'm always in a crisis. It is not dependent on where I, like, where in my life I am. Okay? I'm in a constant mental health crisis for, for unrelated reasons to my age. Google, how old is Dagnall? What would that say? What the hell would that say? Does Google know enough about me to tell you how old I am? Maybe if you guys start feeding like the data points that it pulls all the Google searches from, start feeding them with like Dagnall's 40, like make like a Wikipedia article about me and say that I'm 40. Maybe it'll fool Google into telling you. Fuck! Oh, that little bastard, he's too far away. It would say, who the hell is Dagnall? No, dude. I'm pretty sure if you type in Dagnall in Google search, it comes up with, like, Dagnall Animal Crossing, Dagnall Twitch, Dagnall YouTube, Dagnall, you know. I think it actually does know who I am. Second result on Google says you're 26? Where the hell did it pull that from? Twitter? Where does it say on Twitter? Oh, interesting. I guess from a tweet that I sent that said, Inspiring 26-year-old man who had, oh yeah. Yeah, but that's not me. I wasn't talking about me in that tweet. That wasn't me. I was talking about just some other 26-year-old. That wasn't me. Ow. Ow. Your 48th in 32 tracks, 150cc on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Yeah, that's fucking right, dude, okay? You better damn well not believe I'm gonna be 40 fucking ninth, alright? Put some respect on the name. That's top 48, man. That's top 50! Yeah. 
40th, not 49th? Even better. He would never lie to us. Exactly. I think when you were doing one of your runs, you said kids these days, and then followed up with, I'm gonna sound like I'm 40, I'm only 26. You know, deep fakes are getting very complicated. Deep fakes are getting very, very, um, like alarmingly accurate, you know? Getting alarmingly accurate these days. I've actually never made a YouTube video in my life. If you scroll further down on Google, you have an Urban Dictionary page that has your age. Yeah, I have a- okay, that's actually really weird. I have a couple Urban Dictionary definitions for Diagonal. I have a couple Urban Dictionary definitions for Diagonal. Um, one of them was like... A guy that sits in his basement all day and streams to a bunch of low-life losers who watch him on their little iPads. He owns a dog and a cat that he hates. I don't hate my cat. You guys are not losers. I I think I very much think highly of all of you. And also very inaccurate, okay? Dag, do you have a job that isn't YouTube and Twitch because I have to add it to Wikipedia? Do not make a Wikipedia article. Dude, it's gonna get deleted. Don't make a Wikipedia. I hate when people vandalize Wikipedia. I hate when people do that. Don't don't make a Wikipedia article about me. It'll get deleted. You'll you'll waste some poor unpaid moderator's time. Unpaid Wikipedia moderator's time to delete that article. Oh fuck. You're gonna make some poor, underpaid, or unpaid completely Wikipedia editor make very upset. Hey Dag, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Is this some fucking joke? Is this some fucking like, I'm gonna say vanilla, and then you're gonna say like, vanilla my nuts, or something like that? I'm not gonna answer that question, I'm not gonna take the chance. No, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, exactly. Ice cream these nuts. Get fucking pranked. I don't... I gotta be careful, man. Bro, that's vile. Well, don't tell me then. They're the one trying to do it. Yeah, vanilla my nuts or whatever. You gotta be careful, man. You can't get me that easily. Where's your actual favorite flavor vanilla? My partner's is too? Yes. It is vanilla. And if you guys have strong opinions on my favorite ice cream flavor being vanilla, I would love to hear them. Because I'd love, to, I, you know, my list. I have not updated my list in a while. And I'd like to get some more people listed. I'd like to get some more people listed. It's giving basic? Okay. Okay. Okay, you just made the list. Like, you're- you're on the list now. Suits your looks? Listed. Wait, no, I don't want blathers here. Vanilla is a boring answer, but a good answer? Sometimes the best answers are the boring answers. You know? Please fit. Nice. What's up, Blue Moon? If your favorite ice cream flavor is like... Jimmy Fallon's Triple Strawberry Deluxe Slush... Then learn to enjoy the more simple things in life. Learn to enjoy sitting out on the porch... And just watching the sunset, you know? You're too... You're just... You need to like, just enjoy the simple, easy things in life. Nothing, it, you know... Nobody loves Jimmy Fallon, don't play? I've heard some pretty rave reviews of his, ben, of his Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavor, though. I don't know, maybe I'm, uh, maybe that's fake news, I have no idea. Alright, 
now we're gonna have the axe recipe, right? Wait, that's a real flavor? I'm pretty sure Jimmy Fallon does have a Ben and Jerry's flavor, right? I'm pretty sure. Do I have the axe DIY? Oh, I do. Okay, good. And I have three stones, five sticks. Uh, yeah, okay. Tonight, dough, if that is... If that's it, it does slap. The tonight dough. That's kind of funny, actually. Probably the funniest thing that Jimmy Fallon's ever had associated with him. Wait, Dag, is time travel allowed here? Yes. That pun hurts my soul. You guys think I should start being more like Jimmy Fallon? Where you guys make, like, a funny comment and I'm like... Start, like, banging the desk and I just, like, lose it. I just find everything to be the funniest fucking thing ever. No, please no. Ew, please no. I had one person say yes, so I must at least consider it, right? I defeated Akinator by getting him to try to guess you. People have- I'm on Akinator. People have gotten me- people have gotten me before. People have gotten me before. They got me. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. I'm gonna try? Well, if there's any questions that you don't know the answer to, then post them in chat. I'll be sure to give you an accurate result. We need external validation. Laugh at our jokes, damn it. I don't laugh at jokes. How are your kidney stones doing? I don't think I have any right now. But, so good, I guess, then. Hey, Dag, are you fictional? Well, you've never seen me. So, take with that what you will. Dag doesn't laugh, period. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make it as a late-night talk show host. Is your character known for being forklift certified? Yes. Do you live in India? Uh, no. But I met a man in Bombay. With a slack jaw and not much to say. Do you have blue eyes? No, they're green. My Akinator just thought you were Germa. Don't say that. I'm not that fucking deranged, am I? Are you in junior high? No! I'm not even in school. Flea? Holy fuck. What the fuck, dude? Are you, ser are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Huh? Dude, that's fucked up. Why is the timer red? Why is the timer red? It needs to relax. That's so fucked. Oh my god. What's up? Who's cool? How are you doing? Bro actually has a flea. I thought you were- I thought you were- I thought you were tugging my fucking- I thought- I thought you were giving me a tug. But no, you're actually serious. All DIYs speedrun? That'd be such a pain in the butt, because getting all the DIYs would be so annoying. I Akinator thought you were small ant. Well, I'm not an ant. Nor am I really just a bug in general. I, they were giving me a tug, like they were tugging my, like, I don't know. I thought you were, like, here, pulling my leg. That's the phrase. That's the phrase. I thought you were pulling my leg. Or, like, tugging my titties or something. Hmm. Can I get the better tools recipe? I got you? Oh, did you? Oh, Akinator. Can't get nothing past that guy. Will this go on extra diagonal? Yeah. Yep, probably. 
Secondhand anxiety just thinking about that. Diagonal's a diagonal, like how Pikachu is a Pikachu. Wait, I don't have better tools? Come on. Oh, wait, no, I do. I'm stupid. What, like, I can only say diagonal or whatever? Like a Pokemon. That'd be kind of stupid, dude. Imagine somebody, like, RPing a Pokemon. And, like, the, okay, their whole Twitch thing is RPing a Pokemon. And they literally just, like, say their name over and over. Anything happens in the game, they're like, Dagno! Dagno, Dagno! That'd be the worst fucking... They'd get zero viewers. In fact, not only would you get zero viewers, you'd probably get banned. That's so iconic, someone needs to do that. That would be awful, what are you talking about? Nobody would watch that. Dagnall, you a famous YouTuber? Define famous. I have a plaque that says I've surpassed 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Akinator's asking. I don't know. That your judgment on that one. I got you? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. You're just feeding the Akinator algorithm. Some dude did a Mario stream where all he said was Mario over and over. Like, in the Mario voice? Or is he just like, Mario? Mario. 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 Do you do 24-hour challenges? No, I'd rather... I'd rather execute myself. Diagonal stream, but every time he says diagonal, it's sped up. Well, I don't do that normally, though. I'm just doing it because for the bit now. Are you Indian? No. That was Chris Pratt? <laughs> Chris Pratt did that? I guess to practice for his role, right? Chat, I procrastinated too much. Help. That's an awful feeling, dude. When you procrastinate and you finally, like the day before you have to turn something in, you start working on it. Oh, fuck, dude. All right, I forgot about these. Oh, I got a, I got a super chat, guys. Oh, hey, Twitch has super chats now. I bet the payout on these is garbage. They're 70-30, so they're better than a sub. They're better than a sub by that ratio. Thanks, Ricking Angel, for the five bucks. It's, uh... It's still less of a cut than a direct PayPal donation, but I didn't just say that. Does your character like playing Roblox? Why am I your character? And also, no. Is sending one super chat a month better than subbing for a month? Um, in regards to how much money I get, yes. But you also don't get emotes, and that kind of stinks, right? Emotes are cool. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about the guy who's role-playing a... Pokemon as a Twitch stream. And then we talked about... I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? Oh, right. I was going to talk about somebody said that they're procrastinated too much. That's a bad feeling. When you procrastinated something, and it's like the day before it's due, and you start doing it, and you're like, oh, fuck. I very much underestimated how much time I would need for this. And so you're like, omega cramming to get it done because you procrastinated too long. That's the worst feeling. I've done that an embarrassing amount of times in school. You, ever, you know how teachers say, don't put this off because it's not something that you can do in like the last, you know, the last day before it's due. I've done it. I've done it before the day before it's due. I showed those teachers, but sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're right. There's sometimes there's definitely things that you shouldn't wait the day in before they're due. If I can just, you know, if I can just be honest with you guys, there's definitely some things you definitely can't. Definitely done that before, yeah. Akinator asks me if you cuss a lot. No. Run. Rough draft? More like final draft. That's another fucking thing, dude. I have never, 
never in my schooling career written a rough draft and then made my final draft not just exactly my rough draft because my rough draft was perfectly fine in the first place. Never have I ever, like, had a rough draft be an actual rough draft. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Never once have I done that. You edit while you're writing it, exactly. He still has that motherfucking flea. He still has got that damn flea. Alright, uh, let me hit the rocks so that I can get the iron for the shop. And then we will time travel to the next day, get the shovel from Blathers and get more iron. Oh, fuck. I inhaled a hot Cheeto dust. Please help. Oh, dude, you're going to be coughing for like 10 minutes. You're going to be coughing for like 10 minutes, dude. You got to like get some water. Try to like douse it. Try to douse it, dude. That sucks. That actually does suck. You know what's the worst thing I ever did? I in I okay don't ask and in, in fact no I'm not gonna say it because all it's gonna do is it's gonna make you guys think I'm a, like a weirdo. Well I mean any little bit helps. I thought you were gonna say you eat Alfredo with hot chips. No, but that kind of doesn't sound bad. I had a handful of flour, like a handful of flour. I was a kid. Okay, first of all. I had a handful of flour and I eat. And I coughed and you fucking. I coughed and like a big fucking cloud of flour just flew out of my mouth. And I was coughing for like 10 minutes and I had to clean the flour up from the floor. Why did you do that? I thought it was powdered sugar. Because I thought it was powdered sugar. I, you know, powdered sugar and flour are very similar looking, okay? I thought it was powdered sugar. And I coughed and, <laughs> and just this fucking cloud of shame blew out of my mouth and onto the floor and the counter and I had to clean it up. Like mistaking salt for sugar? You know, I've never done that before because... I don't know. I guess I'm just... built different. But still... You used to crunch on sand? That is gross. That's nasty. I've had sand in my mouth, dude, and I've n I would never willingly put that shit back in my mouth. Every time I've ever had sand in my mouth, it has been against my... It has been against my will. I'll tell you that much right now. Alright. Too smart to confuse seasonings? Usually salt is, like, big and chunky than sugar, though. They're pretty easy to, like, tell apart. Hi from a Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Eh, hey, can I get a fucking number two extra mayo? Ten-piece nuggets with some honey mustard and a large Baja Blast. What do you mean you don't have that here? No, I don't want to go to Taco Bell. Fine, fine, give me a Pepsi. Yeah, Coke's okay. What's up, Caden? How are you doing? Is Baja Blast the Jimmy Fallon flavor? Oh, fuck. Dude, I think Jimmy Fallon would get a Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Dag two donations? What? Holy fucking shit! Freaking Angel, thanks for the 5069! What the fuck, dude? Thank you. And then Bray, thanks for the 10 bucks. Holy shit! Thank you. Jesus, I'm sorry. I missed that. I think I must have been distracted by something. Thank you. Bad streamer. I'm horrible, dude. I thought you were talking about Super Chats, and I looked at the fucking... Whatever. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I wrote the funniest message. You did. It says, pretend this is the funniest message you've ever received. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. Holy shit, that's funny. I might just shit my pants, that's so funny. You're so germa-coded? What the hell does that mean? Also, don't insult me. Don't compare me to that guy. Have you ever been on Dance Moms? No. No. If you're depressed and you know it, watch Diagonal. If you're depressed and you know it, watch Diagonal. It doesn't work. He hates Jerma. Can you check media in Discord? Not right now. Hey streamer, how are you today? I hope you're well. Stay healthy. Yeah, I'll try. Are you related in any way to Melodious? What the hell is that, dude? Sounds like a Nickelodeon cartoon. Are you girl bossing yet, hunty? I'm not hunty. But yes. Split Dag into Dagnell and it does? If you're depressed and you know it, watch Dagnell. That sounds dumb though. Because I'm not Dagnell, I'm Dagnell. It is just one syllable. Seven deadly sins? You want me to name the seven deadly sins? I got you. Pride, greed, wrath, sloth, lust, envy. Pride, greed, wrath, sloth. Envy, lust, gluttony. Yep. Shit. I knew I was missing one. Ironically, probably the probably the sin that I'm the most like probably the sin that I'm definitely the most guilty of. If you guys are guiltiest of any of those sins, which one is it? It's probably gluttony for me. I am like kind of like a I am a bit of a glutton. Sloth? Okay, I'm a bit of a sloth as well. Yeah. Wow, no iron. Yeah, yeah, maybe like sloth. Pride? How is... Uh, let's talk about that. How the hell is pride even a sin? The hell is wrong about pride? I'm not even talking about, like, pride month pride. I'm talking about just, like, being prideful in yourself. Because it's gay? I don't think they meant it like that, though. Pride becomes before the fall. I think a little bit of pride is okay. Being overly full of yourself is not being, like, pride, though. You know? Fuck. It can lead to arrogance in, like, extreme amounts. I think, like, a little of all the sins are, like, okay. I think a little bit of all sins is okay, right? You can be a little gluttonous. I mean, shit, it's like Thanksgiving. Yeah, be a little gluttonous. Eat a little turkey and mashed potatoes. Get a little extra cranberry sauce. Who gives a shit, you know? You want a lazy Sunday? Be a little sloth, you know? Murder is not a fucking sin, okay? And a little murder is not okay. That's not a sin. A little pride is alright. A little greed, you know? We gotta make it in this workaday world. Being a little greedy is okay. And then a little, uh, a little lusty. You can be a little lusty, right? Oh, shit. The internet went out. Hi. Hear me? That was weird. My internet didn't die, but OBS disconnected. Like the internet, nothing happened to the internet. It's just OBS disconnected for a second. Maybe the maybe it flickered for a second. I don't know. No, it wasn't you guys. It's just me. Technical difficulties? Hey, if I can just say something, that's the first, and I don't even think it was my internet. <laughs> God said, enough! Quit promoting these fucking sins. 
He said, you're done. Hey, Feig, that was a warning from God. Actually, you're right. You know, I should actually probably take that as a... You know, I should actually probably take that as a sign to stop talking about the sins. You know what? I'll take that as a sign. I was smitten for just like a little second. Or smoten. Alright, let's go get the shovel. Take that, atheists! Atheists pwned again. No, I just finished my cherry coke? Dude, it's fine. There'll be more. There's so much cherry coke out there. So is he not coming back? Um, tell the people who are confused to refresh. Viewers plummeted after you said that? No, I, I think there's some people who didn't refresh the stream, and so they still think that the stream is offline. Yeah, if the stream is still down, you might need to refresh. Very seriously, Dag, are you actually religious? No. Please tell us Brits what a badge blast is. It's like a Taco Bell exclusive Mountain Dew flavor, I believe. Although I think I see it in stores sometimes as well. But you mostly get it from Taco Bell. What is up, Buck? Heard you're getting so- Oh, iron, 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 Yes! Yes! Oh, fuck. Oh, let's fucking go. Holy shit. Hey, Vivacious Galapagos Penguin, thanks so much for the 15 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy, by golly, your ad-free viewing. What's up, Dagnal? I have fleas. Uh, alrighty. Well, I got, I think, three different types of wood taken care of. Mm, I'd like to donate. Soft wood, yes. And then I need, like, what, 16 mortar iron? Then we're good. I don't have fleas, but I found a tick on my person yesterday. On my person. That was always such a weird way of saying, like, on me. On my person. It makes you sound like you're in a video game. Sweetheart tank and shirt? Box pleated skirt. And what? Oh, and a bathroom towel rack. Fit check. What do you guys think? What do you think of the fit? I love the top. I gotta say, the top doesn't really match the bottom. He's dripped the fuck out. Alright, let me make a shovel. Germa on. Germa on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. 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 That fucking commercial? I'm glad it, one other person remembers that commercial. It was this fucking, literally, this, this is probably like the mid-late 2000s that this commercial was like airing all over all the time on TV. It's for like this stupid, like, I don't know what it was. I should have a Nook Miles ticket, yeah. It was like this stick that you rubbed on your forehead, and it was called Head On. And it probably didn't work, like, at fucking all. But their commercials would just be like, Head On, apply directly to the forehead. Head On, apply directly to the forehead. And it would repeat that eight times over. With this shitty, like, fucking video of this lady applying it to her forehead. Look it up. You'll find it. <laughs> It's the worst commercial ever. It didn't work. I didn't- I never tried it, but I didn't think it worked, like, at all. That sounds so fun. Well, 
Go get yourself some head on, then, okay? It made no claims to carefully skirt lawsuits. It literally was just, like, telling you how to use it. It didn't say, Oh, the chemicals that we have inside are perfectly formulated to get rid of migraines, headaches. And you can even use it on your joints for joint pains. No, it just said, head on, applied directly to the forehead. And fuck, like, it didn't lie. You definitely do apply it directly to the forehead. Is eat it, and then you get no more stomach aches. That'd be fucking awesome. You'd look it up. Look at the commercials if you think I'm lying. Look up head-on commercials. I put it on my chin? I feel like you'd, like... I feel like if you put it on your chin, you're gonna start, like, growing hair out of it. I feel like if you did that, you'd start, like, growing, like, hair out of it. Is the goal to just have a million bells in the bank? Yipper. Basically. Head-on credentials. Just trust me, bro. We're in the commercials. You can clearly trust us. Thanks for the hydrate. What the hell does this mean? Your fit makes your character look like a bit of... Look a bit like a fundy. What's that mean? You guys are my personal urban dictionary. I don't know what that means. Somebody tell me. It's a fundy. It sounds like some shitty thing that you get from like an ice cream truck. A fundamental Christian. Oh. Oh. Like a Mennonite? This is a speed run? Yeah, I'm going fast as shit. Holy shit, Blazer Maze. You're the second person I've ever donated to on Twitch. Congrats, and happy birthday, Sonic. What the fuck, dude? Me and Sonic share a birthday? Dude, that's crazy. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Blazer Maze. Appreciate that. And I'm honored to not only share my birthday with Sonic, but to be your second ever donor. Donee. Thank you. It's your birthday and Sonic's, apparently. You're both 40? Dude, I was born on the same day as Sonic? That's crazy. Really? That's insane. That is insane for real. Do you guys share the hoops too? That's insane for real. Yeah, a million in the bank. ASAP, exactly. So I have to get the shop built, which is why I'm getting iron right now. Do I have 30? Oh, you dirty bastard. You gave me 29. Oh, you're such a little... Mmm. Ooh. I'm gonna say something. If you go to Hogwarts school, you'd be very offended by. You're such a fucking... Muddle Bloom. What is that flower in Tears of the Kingdom? I can't remember. Muddle Bloom? Yeah, Muddle Bloom. Mud Blood. No, I didn't want to be a turf. Muddle Bud, there you go. I didn't want to be a. I didn't want to say Mud Blood, because I didn't want to make it seem like I enjoyed Harry Potter. But it sounds like what you'd call someone in Hogwarts school when you wanted to be, like, really rude to them. You'd call them a Muddle Bud. Alright, I think I maybe didn't crack this rock open. Alright, give me one piece of iron. Thank you. That vile Rowling woman. That awful JK Rowling. Are you a Harry Potter loving millennial? I never liked Harry Potter. My sister did, so I had to watch all the movies whenever they came out, but I never liked them. I remember though, man. New Harry Potter, I remember when the books came out, and every time a new Harry Potter book came out, there would be, like, a line out the door of every bookshop in town. It was crazy, man. You do you guys may or may not remember how much of a big deal that was back in the day. You guys may not realize how big of a deal those were back in the day. Holy shit, Harry Potter was fucking everywhere. 
You know, if I did grow up and enjoyed Harry Potter, I wouldn't feel bad about it, knowing that J.K. Rowling's a horrible person now. Because, Jesus, you couldn't avoid it. You couldn't. If you're around my age, you remember. Alright, shop built. Get that um, built. If I time travel to a Sunday, I think I can immediately start doing turnips here, right? And then just keep doing that till we get a million. Easy. So, 7 5. Oh, shit. I don't know what 7 5 21 is. July 5th, 2021, day of the week. That's a Monday. Okay, so it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we want it before noon. But the shop should be open. Okay. Peak? Oh my god, dude. And then every... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Every time a Call of Duty game came out, there would be like... Usually, it'd be the boys. There'd be like 10 kids from every class that didn't go to school that day. Because they were at home playing the new Call of Duty game. Oh my god, it was like a yearly thing. I didn't do it. Because I didn't like Call of Duty. Towns of people camping outside the store. The GameStop. The Best Buy. Oh yeah. That happened with Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, but the difference is that that actually is a game that's worth not playing. Or not playing. Not going to school and playing. Did I say duty? Oh shit, I did. You're right. Jesus Christ. That's embarrassing. Alright, very good. Do you do that for ACGC and Wild World? No, I wasn't actually a fan of Animal Crossing when those games came out. It was only a little bit after Wild World that I, uh... That I, um... Was a fan of the series. In fact, the only Animal Crossing game that I bought on release is this one. I didn't buy New Leaf until, like, a couple of weeks after it came out, and then City Folk, I had to wait, like, a year after it came out to get it. What's up, Tebe time? How are you doing? You were a non-believer? I mean, this game series just wasn't that popular back in the day. It is now, but back in the day, man, like, it was kind of, like, same level of, like, popularity was Animal Crossing as, like... Maybe what, like, Metroid is now, you know? It was kind of like something that was like a back pocket series for Nintendo. You know, it wasn't one of their headline games. But they usually would release one for every new system they put out. But it would never be a bestseller. It would never, like, outsell, like, Mario games or Zelda games. You kidding me? No. It's just not a very popular series back in the day. It wasn't. Alright, so... Wait, I have more? I I don't know if my shooters should be collecting these, but like, you know... I guess. Overreacting Neophyte. That's what you guys are. What's a Neophyte? I was gonna say, is it a bad word? But I don't think Animal Crossing would have a bad word in it. Alright, so... We can now buy turnips. Let's try to get as much money as possible. The bigger investment that you can start with with turnips, the faster you can get to... A million bells, obviously. Oh, we... It means newbie. Oh, okay. Ugh. Ow. What'd I say ow? I burp. I want the Zelda OLED Switch so bad. I have not been tempted to ever upgrade my Switch. I don't know if they could ever convince me to get another Switch. I don't really, like, the OLED model did not tempt me at all. None of, like, the game additions have tempted me. I have not been tempted by any... By any... Consoles with which to... Upgrade. I still got my one from, like, 2017. Oh. Alright, very good. I think we just sell everything, right? Sell, like, fucking everything. We're going all in on turnips. Is the OLED heavier? I imagine. It's bigger, right? What are you wearing? I don't know, dude. I got it from Timmy and Tommy when I built the store. Somebody said I look like a found... A, what was it? A fundamental Christian is what somebody put it. 
Which I think is like an Amish person. I think they called me an Amish person. Ah, right, yeah, sell everything. They're so right? Are they? I've seen a lot of Amish people in the day. I don't think they usually dress in bright red skirts and black and white striped socks. You're from PA? I am. So I've seen a lot of Amish people in my life. I've never seen one that looks like this. You look like my old German teacher. Oh fuck, it happened again? What happened again? Live your life, King. You know what I'll do? I'll use all these miles and I'll buy some bell vouchers so that I can have as much invested in turnips to... ...start. The top is very white girl autumn or WTV. White girl autumn? Like a, like a fall outfit for a white girl? It's kind of drippy though, what are you talking about? That's great. Not Amish? Talking about people who believe in the fundamentals like women should submit and children are property of the man? I feel like there's a lot of crossover in that with Amish people, though. Welcome fa fan of Evan and Caitlin and Mary Fairy. Thanks for the 14 months. Appreciate that. Thank you. What's your favorite crime to commit? Yeah, nice try, copper. <laughs> Alright, dude. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, not not a police officer. Uh, what's your favorite crime to commit? Yeah, all right, dude. Fucking, no, I'm not fall for that that easily. Now I was born. I was born at night. It wasn't last night, dude. Okay, come on. Hey, Lorelai, thanks for the 22 months. Do I not have bell vouchers? Oh, fine. A Nook Miles ticket still sells for a lot. When do you get bell vouchers? I'm not falling for that one again. Thanks for the hydrate. I'm actually very against cops. And if I could, I'd gladly beat the ever-living fuck out of them. I'm against cops too. You need to relax. Okay? Just need to calm down. There's no cops in this stream. You just need to relax. You just need to relax. You need to calm down. You just need to just settle down. There's no cops here. You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. You don't need to swear. You don't need to get all uptight. You just need to calm down. No cops here. I don't think cops watch my stream. I don't think cops watch my stream. All right, we got 34,000 bells to invest for our first purchase of turnips. Is there anything else that you guys can think where I can quickly get some more money? Because the more you invest now, the easier it'll get to a million later on. I mean, I guess I could pick fruits, but that's not going to be very much. I don't have much in my house, but I guess I could sell the furniture that I have in my house. Great white sharks? But, like, you know, you got to think, like... First of all, I need to meet the total catch requirement of sharks, which take a long time fishing. And second of all, I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be as quick as, like, just doing the turnips, you know? No, I'm not going to do diving. I think let's just grab quickly whatever we can. The keyword being quickly, you know? And uh, those aren't really quick. No, I don't think... No, no, no. Tarantula... No, no, no. I think you guys... You got to think more, like, immediate. You got to think, like, more, like, right now I can do all these things. Like, grab whatever I have in my mailbox and then sell that. I get no, I was gonna say I could weed the island, but no, that wouldn't be worth it. That'd be too much time. Considering it's like 10 bills per weed. Yeah, let's start with that. Let's sell all this and then, oh, all this as well. Sell your soul? That's not worth shit, dude. I guess seashells as well, but it's not, it's not that much. It's not gonna be that much. Hot items at the shop. Um, nah, it's not worth it. Bug off. Sell your villagers? Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Fruits give a lot of bells? Not really. Foreign fruits, yes, but not the ones that I have on my island. Alright. Can you sell Raymond? 
not to like the store, but you can sell him on Nookazon for like probably like a fat million. I guess that would be a quick way of getting a million, right? But I have a rule, no online help. Okay, so we have 36,207 bells to invest in turnips. Let's see how quickly we can turn that into 1 million bells. So where's Daisy May at? She was literally right outside my house. Raymond hype died out. I think the whole hype for this game just in general died out. Buy crops from Leaf? It's OP. Well, I don't think you even get Leaf until you have resident services upgraded, which would be kind of a waste of time. No, you don't need to tell me. I don't think... No, I don't think that would be worth it. Do you get Leaf before resident services? Okay, 93 bells is a good start. Let's buy as many as we can with 36,000 bells. That's 380 turnips. Do I have the room for that? Yeah, okay. That's a... It's 100 per pocket, right? Storage might become an issue later on in the challenge. Yeah. All right. And now we go through the week, hoping that we have a good turnip price. And this is where I'll show you guys the wonderful website of the wonderful website of turnip profit okay so here's what we do to track our turnip prices it's not going to like get us better prices but it'll predict our prices a lot better so this is the first time i'm buying turnips my previous pattern we didn't have a previous pattern and we bought turnips for 93 which means that our pattern is going to be a small spike. It's a 100% chance of it being a small spike. Which is good, because small spike is still a spike. Now the question is, which day of the week is going to be best to sell? The maximum price that we get could be as early as Tuesday in the AM. So I think we'll start at Tuesday in the AM. So if we go back here. Let's go here, and let's go to... So we bought on Sunday... So this will be Monday, Tuesday in the AM. And we're looking for the highest price that we can find. Cool. That's turn up profit. What's up, Sim Cetera? How are you doing? Aren't your turnips going to rot? No. Only if you go backwards and only if you go further than Sunday of the next week. Yep, you can time travel. Amazing news. Glad to be a source of amazing news. So we're not going to guarantee to get a good price today. In fact, it's actually pretty unlikely. We'll want to keep going through the days until we get the best price that we can find. And if we keep plugging in our turn prices every day on Turnip Profit... It will tell us what day will be the best day. It will tell us what day will be the best day. Nook always looks so defeated by life. Kind of understandable, though. I don't need to check Nook Miles anymore. Although, I might want to buy tickets at some point if I want to get more money. My stomach burner. Alright. So Tuesday AM price, and turnip prices fluctuate between AM and PM. 31. Woof, buzz your girlfriend. All right, that's fine, because it will go up, okay? It will go up. That will go up, I promise you. That's going to go up. Okay, so let's try... Um, let's try Wednesday in the PM. Let's try Wednesday p.m. Okay? So this was Tuesday a.m. Let's try Wednesday p.m. So let's go 2 p.m. All right? And we'll see. It'll be a lot better. Get to a million by selling fleas? You know, people suggest ideas like this sometimes. And they're like, get one Get fill your ABD account. Get the maximum amount of bells by selling cicada shells. 
which spawn like once every millennia and they sell for like five bells. And sometimes I think about it and I'm like, you guys, you don't, you don't like my challenges. You don't like watching me have fun doing challenges. You like watching me suffer. You like watching me suffer. I realize that that's the demographic to my twi to my YouTube audience is suffering. Not fun. Not the Animal Crossing. It's the suffering. Hey, Ash Lavelle, thanks so much for the Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. You just like the suffering. You fucking sickos. You don't want a fun video. You don't want to, you don't want me to like make a fun, interesting video with like cool results. You just want to see me fucking suffer. You want to see me scream. And shit my pants. Why do you think people enjoy reality TV? Yeah, I've always wondered that, to be honest with you. I've always wondered why they enjoy reality TV. I figured I'd check out Twitch. Oh, thank you. Pomegranates are so good. <coughs> oh my god, no they're not. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Seriously? Oh my god. Jesus, that's the worst fucking fruit. Oh my fucking god. Wait, what was that? I missed that. 167, that might be our max. I think 167 might be our max. Oh no, our max will be... Oh, we're gonna get something even better than that. In Thursday of the AM. Okay. Okay, so th let's go to tomorrow in the AM, and we're gonna get something even better than that. Mmm, okay. Well, even if we sold at 167, that would be a good, like, profit to start. Like, that'd be pretty alright, but we're gonna get even better than that here. So tomorrow, the 15th, let's do 10 a.m. How reliable is Turnip Profit? It's 100% reliable. It's all, it's, it's the in-game code. It uses the in-game code. It's, it's not predicting, it knows. It's 100% reliable. As long as the information that you put into it is reliable, it is 100%. It will, it's, it's a guarantee that's a known science. Turnip prices fluctuate on time as well. I thought it was just daily. There's a price in the AM and then there's a price in the PM. So you get two different prices every day. Not Sundays, but still. My head hurts now. It's easy. You see number, number big, good. Number small, bad. There's, it's vaguely on a pattern, but that's not important. I kind of like using turnips as like a form of gambling, rather than knowing the science to it. But I don't know, for the purposes of doing this challenge as fast as possible, we should probably know the sciences to it. Yeah, people have data mined the shit out of this game. All this stuff is known. Turnip patterns are known. Everything about this game is known. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Alright, we want to see something in like... What's the max I can get? Max is 206. Let's see. We're going to hope for something close to 206 here. Let's hope for something close to 206. 168. Hmm... It's a little disappointing. Am I gonna- is it gonna go up again, I wonder? No, 168's the best. Wow! It was 167 and it is 168. It literally just went up one. Oh, and that's- that's my max for this week. I think that might have been the unluckiest I could get while still getting a good pattern. I mean, dude, that's still a good profit. That's still pretty good. That's 63,000, and what did we start with? We started with, like, half of that. Hey, that's- dude, that's not bad, okay? That's not bad. That- That could be worse. Also, I'm gonna get another Nook Miles ticket, so that's basically gonna be another 10,000, essentially. Oh, wait, more miles? Oh, yeah, I got more miles. And now, we go back to Sunday... And we do it all again. And we do keep doing that, keep hopefully multiplying our stock until we have a million bells. Let's hope that one of these weeks we get a huge spike pattern and we like five times our money 
and we're good. I don't think we should have to do this too, too much, to be honest with you, until we get to a million. Because if we reasonably, like, double this every time, that'll only take, like, a few more doubles to get it. I had to pay $600 for a locksmith last night and cut through a part of my finger Monday, so it's been a week. Should have called the lockpicking lawyer, man. He would have been in there, like, little click on one, small click on two, nothing on three, little counter rotation on four, click out of five, nothing on six, not sure what's holding us up here. Let's go back to one, little click on one, little click on two, and we got this open. Should have called the lockpicking lawyer, dude. One of my favorite YouTube channels. All right. Let's sell that, and then let's go to Sunday. Does time travel rules in this game apply to New Leaf as well? I don't know. I don't... It's been a while since I've played New Leaf. I don't remember. As far as what? As far as turn-up prices? Help. No, I don't want whatever you're selling. Thanks for the hydrate. Are you glad to become an Animal Crossing YouTuber instead of any other game? I mean... Uh, I don't know. I guess. Animal Crossing fandom's pretty good on YouTube. Part of me would be like, oh, it'd be fun to be like a Minecraft YouTuber. There's always people who love Minecraft. Minecraft will never be unpopular, you know? But then I look at, like, people who comment on Minecraft videos, and I'm like, oh, man, maybe I am kind of thankful. Okay, so this is what? Thursday. So... Thursday... Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the a.m. I don't know, man. I guess it's... Yeah. Are you obsessed with Animal Crossing? No. If anything, I'm obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom right now. I'm shaking. You guys can't see it, but I'm shaking because I'm not playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. I had to... I, I, I'm I, gonna go, like, two, three days without streaming Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm gonna start shaking. I'm getting the shakes. I'm getting withdrawal. If there's anything I'm upset, obs obsessed with right now, it's that. What's up, Henrietta? How are you doing? So you like Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, it's fucking alright, I guess. Yeah. It's fucking alright. Yeah, I mean, fucking, like, I don't know. Like, fucking... Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, like, okay. It's, like, you know, only, like, probably the greatest fucking game that I'm gonna play, like, this year. Do you play chess? Yes, actually. Not very often. In fact, I haven't played in a long time, but... Yeah, there you go. Exclamation point chess. Add me on Lee Chess. Challenge me to a game. Kick my ass. Call me Sally. I'm so sad when you stream Tears of the Kingdom because I want to play, but I haven't had time. Oh, and you don't want to spoil yourself? I mean... Eh, I don't know. That is such a fun game, where even if you were spoiled, I don't think you'd still enjoy it any less, or any... Yeah, I said it right. I don't play that game for the story. To be honest with you, I don't really care. It's just a fun game. Where did she go, dude? In the cutscene, she was literally just to the right of my house. Fuck off. And also, I need to make, like, a YouTube video. I've gone, like, I mean, I've had very good reason to not make a YouTube video in, like, the last month. But, because I was, you know, cross-country moving. And Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so it's 91 this week. That's a good buying price, considering 90 and 110 is the range. And then this week, we have a... Let me show you here. So we put our 91 buying price in here. This is not our first time buying. Last week's pattern was a small spike. And so now, the chances of a pattern this week is fluctuating. So we have a 45% chance of a fluctuating pattern. We have a... This is what we want right here. We have a 25% chance of a large spike. That's the one that we want. That's the ones that get you like 500, 600 bell selling prices. Decreasing is bad. That's the only bad pattern. And then small spike would be good again, but since we had small spike last week, it's very unlikely that we get it again. So more than likely, we will have a fluctuating pattern this week. So there you go. So 91. Yep. 
Yeah, this game is not very brutal in regards to, like, turnip prices. You pretty much then have to be, like, dumb to not make money in the turnip market in this game. Or, like, extremely unlucky. Chance for big spike. Yeah, 25% chance for big spike is not bad, actually. Alright, so now we want to go to Monday... Monday AM. Monday AM. Or maybe you want to go to Tuesday AM, because Monday AM is never really gets you a good price, but whatever. It might help you determine the pattern that you get this week. What's the most time-consuming task you've done in Animal Crossing, other than finish the entire museum? Um, well, by, like, how long a video took to make, like, record, um, probably gold tools, I think, was the second longest one, or maybe all fish models might have been. I honestly don't remember which one of those two was longer. I think all gold tools was the longest outside of the full museum speed run. That one was brutal. I want to watch your Tears of the Kingdom lives, but I don't want to spoil the game. Great news! They're all going on my second channel, so once you uh, have finished the game yourself, then you can go watch me play. Even though it's not live, but, you know, they're there. I need to put more views on the bridge video today. Well, I mean, like, I'm not going to tell you not to, but why? <laughs> why the bridge video? That one sucks. If you, wanna, if you want to make me money, watch the museum one. That one's like over an hour long. That's got all the ad mid-roll ads. That bridge video sucks, dude. That's my worst video on my channel, is that bridge video. It sucks. It's so bad. Why did- Ah, uh, fucking- Like, whatever. I've said my piece on that video. How do you make money if I have YouTube Premium? I don't know exactly how it works, but all I know is I do still make money. I think I make money in the absence of the ads that you would see. Like, I think that when you watch one of my videos with YouTube Premium, you're giving me a little money, just not through advertising. I don't know. Don't ask. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know how fucking anything on YouTube works, dude. 58. That's a little... Let's see. Where does that put us on our chances this week? Okay, that puts us... Okay, 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 this is good. This is really good, actually. Because that that got rid of the decreasing pattern. But it also got rid of the large spike. So it's a 55% chance of a fluctuating pattern, which can get you as high as, like, 182, apparently, which wouldn't be bad. And then small spike would be, you know, fine. You'd like something better. Basically, we're going to make a profit this week. We just have to figure out what the best day to do it is. So let's go to Tuesday at the PM, because that seems like it's the earliest time that we can get one of our maximum prices here. Is Tuesday PM. All right, let's do it. Is he lagging really bad for anyone else? It was lagging bad for me, was it? I hope not. So Tuesday, PM. So this is Monday, Tuesday, PM. There we go. No, no. Okay, good. Maybe hit it with a quick refresh. Do I have pit stains? Oh my god. No, okay, good. Jeez, that would be so embarrassing. Holy shit, that would have been embarrassing. Alright, so we want, um... Let's hope for something like the high 100s would be the best case scenario here. We're probably not gonna get that today. Are the pits stiff today? No, actually, they're pretty good. Nice loose pits today. I didn't- maybe, you know, I have been doing my pit stretches. I have been doing my pit stretches, and I think that that's helped out a lot with my stiff pit problem. I think that's helped a lot with my stiff pits. Yeah, like pit yoga. Like every 40-year-old? Dude, when you're my age, you have to keep yourself limber. You have to keep yourself limber. You gotta do your stretches, man. 
You youths of the chat, you don't understand, but you'll know when you're my age, all right? Hey, Elizabeth, thanks so much for the gift sub. Or rather, the resub. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Your age. Aren't you three? Bro, I'd have a pretty, like... I'd be pretty fucking... I'd be a marvel of humans if I was three-year-old. And I knew how to speak full sentences. And was five foot six. And had, like... And looked and sounded the way that I do. I'd be like a fucking... I think I'd be a monster, really. 47 on Tuesday at p.m. I think that's a small spike. Yeah, it's another small spike. Interesting. So the small spike was very unlikely since we had one last week, but it looks like that's going to be our pattern this week. All right, let's go to Thursday in the a.m. for our next chance at a big payout here. Thursday in the a.m. All right, cool. Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday p.m. And we want Thursday a.m. All right, good. Cool. Thanks for the hydrate. One second. The numbers are numbering. If you don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about, just know, just let me cook, all right? Just let me cook. Let me do my thang, even. All right, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in the a.m. Yes. Just nod and smile. We can't understand Diagonal's genius. It's not a genius, man. The geniuses are the people who made this website that makes this so easy. I'm just plugging in numbers. I'm doing data entry. This is like when you restart the router at your grandparents' house, and they think that you're like a genius for restarting the router and getting their internet working. Bro, I'm just hitting buttons and plugging in numbers. I'm not even doing anything. I'm the har I'm the genius is the one who made the website. I'm far from it. It's like an office job, exactly, dude. But you have that middle-aged guy stock market experience. I'm glad that you guys think that I'm, like, really fucking smart, you know? I'm glad that I have successfully fooled you guys into thinking that I'm intelligent. Because, oh my god, are you anything but correct. I'm, I'm dumb as fucking rocks, alright? I just happen to know a lot about Animal Crossing, okay? I'm a dumb as fucking dirt. Alright, we're gonna hope for... We're gonna hope for... Like, high 100s again. We're gonna hope for high 100s. Okay. 155. Is that our max, I wonder? This is Thursday AM. 155? Okay, it might go up more. Okay, so this is basically the same thing that happened last week. If we go to Thursday at p.m., it can be anywhere from 155 to 182. Okay, so we're going to go to p.m. of this same day, and we're going to hope that it's closer to 182. All right, 155 already is like a good profit. You know, we're going to be in the we're going to at least be a hundred thousand air by the time we're done with this. Is he smart, or does he just have an autism special interest? I don't know if I have autism, but I think that that's what I'm trying to say, though, is that I just have, like, a special interest in Animal Crossing, and I just know a lot about it. Not to mention, have made my career out of it, and so I kind of, like, have to know, like, a little thing or two about it. You know, kind of, like, made Animal Crossing videos for a living. Sort of, like, kind of had to, like, figure this shit out, right? Maybe my weird obsession with this game turning into a career. I don't know. Are we still able to watch the VODs of the Villager Homes HHA rating streams? Are they still on Twitch? No. Unfortunately, those got deleted a while ago because Twitch auto-deletes VODs that you don't save after, like, a month. 
No, if I was smarter, I would have, like, put a lot of my old challenges on YouTube so that you guys could watch the making of them, but I just got done saying that I'm dumb as rocks, so. Alright, we're hoping for 182 or close to it. You don't have autism just because you really like something. I don't think that's what people are saying. But yes, of course. 182. Fucking 161, dude. We're getting, like, the slightest increases here. Wait, wasn't... one? What was our last week's price? Was it not, like, 161 or something around that? Hey, baby, thanks so much for the 100. I want to say, watching you on YouTube for years, I wanted you to say thank you so much. Much love from Ireland. Well, thank you. Have I been doing it for years? Oh, God. It was 168 last week, and now we got 161 this week? Dude, I mean, that's that's profit, baby. That's profit. That is profit. All right, what are we at now? 132,000. And then now we have 132,000 to invest. And soon enough, like, we're going to be there. And now we got to go to Sunday. Buy turnips again. And then repeat this process until we're a millionaire. Okay, we're going to, like, easily... I think we're going to do this before even Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think we're going to do this before even hitting three hours. It's very reasonable that you can become a millionaire in this game without even using Nookazon or online services in less than three hours. I think we'll do this before we even hit three hours. Easy. I think it's easy. Oh my god, no, I have to do it in two hours! Oh, fuck! Now that you started, I think you got this. Now that we got lucky enough to not get, like, decreasing patterns in the first two weeks, I don't think you can get a decreasing pattern in the first week, but as long as you don't get decreasing patterns early, you can do it. Like, turnips in this game are so easy to make money on. Does that mean celebratory geo after? Um, well, no. After this, I'll probably end stream. But eh, I should get back into geo at some point, shouldn't I? Mother fucker. You, would you relax, dude? Oh, because you replied to yourself. I thought you were calling me a motherfucker. I'm like, what did I do? Are you yelling at me? You need to calm down. You just need to relax a little bit. Playing Animal Crossing. I'd expect that type of chat if we were playing Valorant. Alright. See what our turnip price. Why am I going to the shop to check turnip prices? Oh my god, Dangle a Swifty? Ooh. Am I a Swifty? Would you guys think do you guys think I'm a Swifty? Oh, thanks. Rats are cool. Welcome. Do you guys think I'm a Swifty? What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm a Swifty? A fan of Swift? Taylor Swift? No. 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 Okay, why is it like unanimously no? Oh, 100. Okay, so 100 is average here. 100 is literally dead center in what turnips can sell for. Alright, first time buyer no. Last week pattern small spike. We're buying them for 100 this week. So, we have, again, 45% chance of fluctuating. 25% chance of large spike. Ding, 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 ding. That's what we want right there. 15% chance of decreasing. 15% chance of small spike. Alright. Let's buy as much as we can. Which will be, what, 13 stacks? Just join stream, definitely. Thank you. I'm not a Swifty, but I do like a couple of Swift songs. And you know, if somebody took me to a Taylor Swift concert, I would enjoy it probably more than concerts for a lot of bands. She seems like she has a good energy for concerts. She seems like she has like a good concert energy. I bet you I would almost even enjoy a Taylor Swift concert. And I don't like concerts. Alright, so which... When do we go to? Let's go to Monday at a.m. 26 at 10 a.m. My Taylor concert is in two weeks and I'm pumped. 
I'm happy for you. There's a lot of people, though, that, like, revolve their entire, like, do, don't, like, have a Taylor Swift concert that they're going to in, like, six months, and they'll be talking about it like it's happening tomorrow. They'll be like, oh, my fucking God, I'm going to, I'm so fucking excited for Taylor Swift. Oh, that's cool. Where, when are you going? Fucking December. And I'm like, oh, goodness. What era are you in? Dude, I'm not in an era, man. I'm fucking depressed, okay? I don't leave my house. I have an era. You guys have eras? I'm also a Swifty. I love my Swiffer mop so much. Dude, it's got a little jet for the water and the soap. Well, it picks up so much hair. I'm in my mental illness era, exactly. You want to know what kind of, like, era I'm in as far as music goes? Bro, I'm all over the place, all right? I'm all over the place as far as my eras, my music er eras go. Bro, I got fucking Lil Jon and the Yin Yang Twins in there. I got Beethoven in there. I'm in my Beethoven era, am I right, fellow classical music enjoyers? Any other Beethoven stands? Do you think Beethoven had stands, dude? Do you think Beethoven had stands? Alright, what do we got? 87. 87, Monday AM? What does that do? Ooh. Okay. Everyone calm down. It might be happening, though. That puts us at a 60.5. That is a greater than likely chance that we have a large spike pattern. However, it also gives us a 36% chance that we have a decreasing pattern. And a 3.18% chance of a small spike. Let's go to Tuesday at PM. Tuesday in the PM. And let's see what we got then. Tuesday in the PM. And let's see what we got. I don't like that 3% part. The 3% is for a small spike, though, which would also be, like, kind of okay. But we're hoping for the large spike, of course. Tuesday, PM. So it's Monday. We want Tuesday, 1 PM. Yeah, Tchaikovsky, yes, Slay, yes, please, I'm your biggest fan. Guess suck your dick. Do you think people, like, threw panties at, like, Beethoven on the stage? Or Tchaikovsky? Everyone clenched the assholes for a large spike. I'm gonna need some seriously good energy from chat here. Probably, but Tchaikovsky was gay, so I don't know if that worked on him. I didn't say that they were women's panties. I'm so crass. I'm not crass, dude. I just have a hair on my tongue. I got it. Tell me when I can unclench. Um, wait one second. Wait one second. It's okay. I have to give it like one second. I don't have to figure out the price here. Just give me one second. I know. It's probably starting to hurt right now. I know. It's probably hurting. Just give me one second here. This could be like 600. This could be 600 bells. I need you guys to understand. So this could be 600 bells here. If this is 600 bells, this will be insane. Help? You're fine. Okay, just relax. It's 77. Okay. Tuesday PM is 77. What is that? Ooh! Oh, bad news, guys. Oh, fuck. That's bad news. Okay, that puts us at basically a 50% chance of a decreasing pattern. Still, okay, it's basically a 50-50 between being decreasing and large spike. Okay, let's go to Thursday in the AM now, because that's when our next peak will be. 
Okay, let's go to Thursday AM. That's not good. I mean, it's 50-50. It's not, like, horrible, but, you know. Okay, so it's Tuesday. We want to go Thursday in the AM. All right. Can we un- Yes, you can unclench. But I'm gonna need you to, like, re-clench before I check this next price here. Um... It's Tuesday... Wednesday, Thursday... In the... A.M. Right? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Maybe don't clench before the loading screen, because they take so long, okay? Save your butts. Will the turnips rot if you went back in time? Yes. Even if it's in the same week. I'm pretty sure even if, like, you went back one minute, they would rot. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Definitely, like, if you went back a day. This is some army type shit. Sir, yes, sir! Sir, I'm clenching, sir! Sir, it's starting to hurt, sir! My butt is broken. Bro, it's that fucking episode of Spongebob where he's got the penny, the used napkin, and the potato chip. I know of a place where you never get harmed. A magical place with magical charms. Indoors. Dagno quotes Spongebob part- I have not quoted it 22 million times, dude. Relax. There's not even 22 million references in Spongebob. Alright, here we go. Shut up, Buck. Alright, this is- this will determine our pattern. No matter what this price is, it will determine our pattern. How do you remember all the lyrics? Dude, there's like 10 words! He said it's like 10 words! Alright. Oh, I think that's bad. I think that's bad. I think I think we got a bad pattern this week. Okay. No. Okay. Not okay. Not necessarily. At the tip of the cock of the graph here, there is still a small, very small chance that we have. But it's really it's not looking good. It's so over. I, I think it's so over. I think it's so over. It's an 80% chance of a decreasing pattern, a 19% chance of a large spike. The last chance, I thought that today would determine the pattern, but apparently there is still a chance. If we go to Friday PM, <clears throat> if we go to Friday PM, there is still one chance of it being an increasing pattern. But if it's not Friday, it's not gonna be never. Oh, jeez, Louise. Friday p.m. Oh, I think it's over, everyone. I think it's Jover. This 19% is not gonna happen. It's a 1 in 5 chance, okay? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 5. What is it? So, two, Thursday, Friday, p.m. Two. Okay, there you go. Everyone that said two, you just got the, the one in five chance. You just got the large spike. Everyone else, you suck. But you see how many people put two and how, like, real and possible it is? All the people that said two, you got the large spike. It might be Jover, but it also might be So John. All the two sayers are geniuses, yeah. Alright, if it's gonna be a big- if it's gonna be a large spike, it's gonna be a huge price today. It's gonna be a huge price today if it's a large spike. It's bad if it's anywhere between 49 to 57. Anything above that will- Gladly take. Come on, 639? The max is 600, so we're not going to get 639. 
Imagine the reaction for the YouTube video. Yo, I'll drop a YouTube thumbnail face if I get a like 600 pat. If I get a 600 price, yeah, I'll drop a I'll drop a YouTube thumbnail face. I'll I'll drop a Oh yeah, I'll do it. Gladly. The good thing about getting a decreasing pattern is that like there's pretty much a 0% chance of getting it the next week at least. All right, moment of truth here. I'll even do it all fucking dramatic. Y'all want to see? I'll, I'll even, I'll fucking, I'll be dramatic. Oh, I thought it, oh, dude, I genuinely thought it was going to say, like, 5.30. Oh, my God, I was genuinely going to, like, pog. Oh, it's so, it's over. Oh, it's so over. Oh, no, that's so bad. We gotta sell. It's only gonna go down. We have to sell. We, we, oh my god, that's gonna be like half the money that we paid for. That's so bad. Oh, I'm down to 69,960. <laughs> okay, well... That sucks. Okay, at least we are probably not gonna get decreasing next week. Because you rarely get the same pattern two weeks in a row, even though it literally happened with the small spike. Alright, whatever. Um, So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the first. That sucks so bad. Oh well. Is this count on the gambling stream now? Um... Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's alright, though. Because this week, we have... Well, we'll go over it once I get the turn up price here. We'll go over it. Thanks for the hydrate, again. All right, that definitely set back our, like, three-hour goal, though. That I said we could probably do this in less than three hours. That set us back a little bit, I will say. That definitely set us back a little bit. More turnip gambling? Yep. It's only gambling if you lose. That's right. And I just lost half of my fucking money, so you better fucking believe it's gambling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just halved my net worth on one week of turnips. So, yeah. Can we see your cat? No! You are not entitled to see my cat. My cat is not just a puppet I can just dangle in front of you for entertainment. He's a living creature. 99% of gamblers quit right before they hit it big. Well, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to fucking indulge such a stupid ideology. But we are very unlikely to get a bad pattern again. So you know what, like, yeah, I kind of shouldn't stop now because it's only going to get better, right? Yeah, you know, I kind of shouldn't just stop now. I'm, 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 I'm so close to a hit. All right, what do we got? 90 bells. This is already great because that's the cheapest price that you can get them. They're anywhere from between 90 and 110, and we just got them for 90. It's a 1 in 20. It was a 1 in 20 chance. All right. First time buyer, no. Last week was decreasing, and Sunday, we're buying for 90. What does that do for us? <laughs> Look at that. 45% chance of a large spike. 25% chance of a small spike. 25% chance of a fluctuating, and the teeny tiny 5% chance of a decreasing. Teeny tiny 5% chance of a decreasing. It's a 1 in 20 chance to get a decreasing, and it was a 1 in 20 chance to get 90 turnip bells per turnip. So, you know, it could still happen. All right. Well, that's great. That is just fantastic news. Let me buy them all up here. If I get the 5% decreasing pattern... If I get the 5% decreasing pattern, I'll fucking... 
I... I'll dump... No, this is my parents' house. I don't want to get their carpets all wet. I was going to say I'll dump this entire water on my head. No, um... I will... I'll, um... What will I do? What will I... Shit yourself? No, I'm not going to shit myself. I'm not going to take a 1 in 20 chance of shitting myself. No. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We want Monday, Tuesday... Tuesday in the PM. Tuesday PM. Feet reveal. I will show you my socked feet. Yeah, okay. I'll show you my feet with socks on if I get the decreasing pattern this week. I'll show you my socked feet. There will be socks. I will not show you my bare feet. Please don't get it. Oh, dude, I'm hoping that I don't too. Okay? For the fact that I want to, you know, make money. And second of all, yeah, now I don't want to show my feet. So, look, I'm, I'm on your side, okay? I'm with you, man. Yeah, I'll get my wiki feet debut. Why did, I, why did I do that, man? I've literally only, like, screwed myself. If I don't get the decreasing pattern, I'm like, good, that's good. Now, if I do, not only do I get a decreasing pattern, I have to show my fucking feet. Why did I do that? I don't have a stupid idea. Would you do a footy? Are you talking about a shoey? Where I drink alcohol out of a shoe? No. No, I wouldn't do that. Again. I did it once, and I'll never do it again. Alright. This could, in itself, be like a giant price. This could be as high as 540 today. It's unlikely, though. But there's a chance that today's price could be like 540. Something insane. It's 68. So Tuesday PM is 68. Where does that put us? Ooh. Ooh. That puts us at a 77.6% chance of a large spike. But then again, was it last week like a 70% chance of a large spike? It's it's got oh no, it put the fucking decreasing up to 15%. It put the small spike to 3.88%, and it put the fluctuating at 3.43%. Oh, no. Okay, but this is fine. 77.6% chance of a large spike. So now let's go to Thursday in the AM. Thursday AM. There's a 15% chance that I'm going to fucking show my feet. This is stupid. Why did I do that? Why did I fucking do that, dude? What a stupid idea. Things are not coming up diagonal. Dude, there's a 77.6% chance. Calm down. It'll be fine. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday in the AM. Alright. I think we're so back. I think we're so back, to be honest with you. I think we- I think it's so on right now. What a great moment to join the stream. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe show my feet. That's so fucking funny. Calm down. Relax. Are your socks dirty? No. They're fine. They're just socks. They're black and, like, ankle socks. Hey, Sir Noob Sire, thanks so much for the Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Tell your mom I said hi? Tell my mom you said hi. She's in chat. He's never had a foot cam before. We should have we should have settled for that deal. Have we? I've showed my feet before. 
Love your content. Thank you. I appreciate it. The bus stream. Oh, that's true. The bus driving stream. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, fuck. They want to expand. Oh, no. Dude, if they expand, and that's the day that I'm supposed to get my, like, Omega Spike... Oh my god, that'd be so bad. Oh, that would be horrible. Are you fucking serious? Oh, wait, oh, n oh no, wait, it might happen. Oh no, wait, dude, that might happen. That might actually be, like, what happens. Oh no. Because now it's 1.31, Thursday a.m. Oh my fucking god. Look at this shit. Look at this. Thursday... Wait, 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 no! It's Thursday! Wait, 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 no, 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 we're fine! This is literally just later in the day. Oh, okay, no, 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 we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. It's good. I thought... Okay, it's fine. Okay, now let's go to Thursday p.m. We're so back, dude. We're so back. I'm not showing my fucking feet. Oh, let's fucking go. Alright, now we just go to later in the day, and it's an 80 it's an 89.7% chance of a large spike. 10.3% chance of a small spike. Let's hope it's the large spike. We're gonna figure out here literally right now. Let's go to 12 p.m. I was so, dude, I was so nervous that it was going to spike tomorrow, the day that the shop was going to, I was going to cry. I was, like, legitimately going to cry. Holy shit. That would have been so bad. Okay, it's fine. We're good. We're going to, okay, hopefully today we'll get something in, like, the, like, three, four hundred range. It could be as high as 540. No, there's no feet chance anymore. The the decreasing pattern is not possible anymore, so no feet chance. Fucking sickos. Fucking these guys are gross, you know that? Imagine we got the foot reveal because of the rats. If the store had closed, I still I wouldn't have done that, but still. I would have been like sad. All right, we're going to hope for, like, 540 or something pretty close to that. I'm not going to ask for 540, because that's a lot, but, like... Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right, here we go. This isn't going to get us to a million, but it's going to get us, like, a few hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 316,000. And now, if I get another large spike, it's going to be easily a million. Easily a million, if we get another large spike. That's a big investment next week. I'm thinking I should skip this next week. Because since we got large spike, we're very unlikely to get large spike again. So, we should probably skip a week and then do it then to get better chances of a large spike again. You know what I mean? Can you upgrade your pockets? Yeah, but I don't know why I would. I will buy a Nook Miles ticket, though. Still record the pattern? Yeah, that's a good point, huh? Still should probably record the pattern. You should figure out your pattern, though, to help out with the data. That's a good point, good point. I will do that. It was 411, which considering the spike, it's the spike could have been between 180 and 540 is pretty darn good. Definitely closer to 540. So that was a good spike. Not only was it a large spike, it was a good large spike. So that's great. All right, cool. So now we'll go to, I guess, Monday in the AM of next week to try to figure out what pattern it is. But we won't invest this next week, since we got Large Spike, and you are less likely to get the same pattern twice in a row. What day was it? It was Thursday, right? 
It was Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday in the a.m. And let's just data gather. Dude, if I figure out that it's a large spike this week, too, and I didn't invest, I'm gonna fucking cry. Although, I wonder something. If I do find out that it's a large spike, and then I time travel back that Sunday to buy turnips, will the pattern still be the same? Probably not, right? That seems like an easy, like, cheesing method. No, I didn't think so. That seems, like, way easy to exploit. I feel like it would reset as soon as it hit Sunday again. Yeah, it'd change. I figured. Oh, the store expanded. Well, that's good, because now we don't have to worry about that fucking our uh, selling day up. I have a gambling addiction. You need to just relax and calm down. No one introduced Dagnol to poker? Oh, seriously, guys? You think I have a gambling problem because I'm fucking betting in-game currency? And, like, doing it with no consequences whatsoever? Using a method that is, like, pretty much guaranteed to make you money in the long run? Is, is, is seriously, come on now. Jesus. You need to just relax, calm down. All right, let's pull up our uh, turn up profit. So sad to watch a good guy get too invested in gambling and ruin his life. Hey, I'm not a good guy. I'm a nice guy. All right. I'm going to tip my fucking fedora to you. All right, turn up prices Monday AM 84. Okay. So last week was a large spike. This is not my first time buying. Ah, this is actually really good. This is really good. It's a 54.8% chance of a decreasing pattern. Small spike, 19% chance. Large spike, only 13. Could still happen, but only 13%. And then fluctuating, 12%. So it kind of could be anything, but most likely decreasing. Let's go to like, uh, let's go to Tuesday in the PM. Let's go to Tuesday PM just to say, or maybe even later in the week. Let's go like Wednesday PM just to see if we can figure out the pattern easier. Wednesday PM. I hope it's a decreasing pattern this week because if I go in, if I go in on a decreasing pattern, when it was a decreasing pattern the previous week, that'll be great. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, PM. It'll be great to to do another week investment when the decreasing pattern the previous week. Did you buy more turnips? No, I'm not investing this week because this week was bad. This week will likely be bad because I had a really good week last week. Whoever made that webpage really needs to do something else with their life. Whoever made this webpage that has brought, like, you know, happiness and information to people's lives for a game that's very popular and has probably affected a lot of people should get a life, dude? What the hell is your problem? You need to, like, chill out. You're so- why are you, like, you're furious. How dare they make people happy and help people with a game? The hell is your problem, dude? Calm down. Grow up. Hey, Graven. Thanks so much for the tier one. Besides, it's it's probably not even them that like data mine the game. They probably just took the data mine info and made it into a website. Oh no, passion projects are cringe now. Grow up, dude. Am I, am I, am I a fucking loser for streaming to people and making, hopefully, making them happy? Golly, I hope not. You ever had foie gras? No. Foie gras? Isn't that how you say it? I don't know. 
I've never even had like fucking fillet mignon, dude. Oh no, 115. Oh fuck, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 is it bit? Okay, that puts us at a 44% chance of a fluctuating pattern. And a 31% chance of a small spike. Okay, at least it's unlikely that we get a small spike. I'm fine if it's a small spike or fluctuating. I would have preferred it to be decreasing, but that's fine. As long as it's not a large spike. When I saw that price, it made me think large spike. Let's go to... Let's go to Thursday PM. That'll probably tell us what the pattern is. Thursday PM. Imagine if it's large spike. I mean, I guess I'll just do the, like... I'll do it again, where I don't buy turnips. So it's Wednesday. We want to go to Thursday PM. It's pronounced... It's pronounced... File... Mignon? No, man, come on now. You can't fuck with me that easily. You can't fuck with me that easily, dude. Alright, I know it's not called File Mignon. Sounds like a fucking Minecraft mod, dude. Hi, King. Loving the grind. Quick question. Is it always a good week, bad week, good week, bad week? No. Um, I mean, it depends on what you call a good week or a bad week. A good week is small spike fluctuating uh, large spike. Because no matter what, sometime in those weeks can you sell for a profit? Bad weeks are just decreasing. So think of it like every three out of four weeks will be good weeks. One out of every four weeks will be bad weeks. There's no pattern to how they go. But bad weeks are rarely followed by bad weeks. And good weeks are rarely the same pattern back and forth. Is it really good to pay a house loan? It is probably the best way without online, yeah. Patterns are unlikely to happen twice in a row, but most of the patterns in the game are good in the sense that you can sell for a profit. The only one you can't ever sell for a profit is decreasing. Alright, so we're hoping for... We're just hoping that it's just not a large spike here. We're hoping that it's not like fucking 400 bells and I missed out on a week of a large spike. That's all I'm hoping for. You just have to know when to sell and that's why turnip profit is so good. Do you think this will get edited and uploaded to as a YouTube video? It absolutely will. It absolutely will. Yeah, fuck it. Talk to Tommy this week. Alright, 149. Which is... I feel like definitely not a large spike then. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, this is good. 149 Thursday PM has eliminated the possibility of it being a large spike and has left it most likely as being a small spike or a fluctuating. If I go to like... If we go to Friday PM, then we'll know for sure. So let's go to Friday PM. Friday PM. PM? More like BM. What does that mean? B bowel movement. <laughs> That's what I thought. Do you have a Discord server? Yes, sir! Exclamation point Discord. What does PM and AM even mean? What the fuck? Wait, what do they mean? I never thought about that. Post morning? No way. That's not true, right? At morning and post morning. Are you sure? That sounds like you just made that up. I actually have never thought about that. It's Latin? Well, then it doesn't mean anything that you guys are talking about. First time making a stream. Welcome. I just had a major realization. I've been saying, oh, you know, it's 1.15 p.m. To, or it's 8 a.m. It's like the... I never knew what they stood for. 
I never knew what it stood for. Past midday and after midnight. Are you sure? Somebody said it's Latin, though. There we go. Ante meridium and post meridium. Before and after midday. Thank you. There you go. Somebody said it was Latin. It just is. Real ones only use the 24-hour format. Yeah, but I don't want to have to be like, oh, it's 7 o'clock. What is that in 24-hour clock? That's like, well, fucking like 7 plus 12. It's like, what, like 19? Oh, fuck, it's so annoying. You think you're better than us? You think you're fucking better than us for using 24-hour clock? 1.53 in Friday p.m. So that's what? Okay, that's... Okay, so... I think we could probably assume that it was a small spike. Okay, so let's go to Sunday. Let's go to Sunday, and let's say that it was a small spike, because 98.7. I'm pretty confident that it's a small spike. All right, so we're going to go... Last week's pattern was a small spike, and then reset. All right, and now let's buy some more toy -nups. You know what they say about assuming, Dag? Yeah, I know, it makes an ass out of you and me, but, I mean, 98.7, man. It's not like 90%, and I'm assuming that it'll be the case. 98.7. Sounds like a fucking radio station. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Alright, we're gonna... Look, if it's that 1.3% chance... If it's that 1.3% chance that it was a fluctuating pattern, then oh well. It still shouldn't affect our large spike chances in the next week. Remember how he hit the 19% last time? You do understand that there's a big difference between 1.3% and 19%. Like a over 10 times difference. You gotta go on that B104. This is B104. Dun, 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 dang, 104. Your local Animal Crossing station. You're playing all your favorite hits. We don't play that. We don't play that pussy snowflake stuff. We only play the real stuff. R -r -r real stuff. And it starts playing like fucking Imagine Dragons. Alright, let's go. Where's old Daisy May at? Nickelback. You know, dude, I kind of fuck with Nickelback, though. Don't don't hate on Nickelback, okay? We are a pro-Nickelback stream. This is a pro-Nickelback stream. Alright? <laughs> you better watch yourself. Be careful. Where's old Daisy? There she is. Alright. Looking for, like, 90 or close to it. Oh, thank you. HK the RPDR fan. RuPaul's Drag Race. Got it. It is 90. Holy shit. All right, cool. Let's see here. Lucky me. I got another 90. All right. Which puts us at a 45% chance of a fluctuating pattern. A 25% chance of a large spike. A 15% chance of a decreasing and 15% chance of a small spike. Alrighty. Well. I guess let's go Tuesday p.m. Let's go Tuesday p.m. What's up, me crossing? How are you doing? I might not have the pocket room for all these now. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Yeah, I'm gonna start dropping some of these. This is what gets annoying about turnips, dude. Is that you have to start dropping them. Once you do it enough. Like, if you could put them in storage, that'd be great. Oh, I forgot to fucking sell this stupid, um... Nook Miles ticket. Let me sell that. 
It's almost 2 a.m. I'm rather tired. I uh, enjoy the rest of the stream. Enjoy the rest of your day. At least you'll get ants? No, I don't get ants. Those are only on rotten turnips. 15% chance? No, that was a one week only offer. You, the feet offer is not still on the table. The feet offer is off of the fucking table. That was only that one week, okay? That was only that one week. The fact you know RuPaul's Drag Race makes me happy. I've never watched it. I... I, I mean, I don't, like, like it or hate it. I just figured out what it stood for. I know a lot of people in my chat like RuPaul's Drag Race. So I have to be pro RuPaul's Drag Race in that sense, at least. Or else my audience will hate me. I legit, okay, for a long time, I thought that, I thought that RuPaul's Drag Race was, you know, drag racing, like car racing, I thought it was a bunch of people in big wigs and like scantily clad dresses, drag racing cars down like a runway, I did think that for like a little bit of time, I did think that for like a little bit of time, alright, very good. Buy them all. World is a fuck. 1-800 dead cops. Yeah, drag racing when I was a kid was car racing. It was only later on in life that I realized drag racing was... You know, what we more know it as now. Alright, let's go to Tuesday PM. Because I played Need for Speed Underground 2, dude. I fucking it's like drag racing I knew. Alright, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday PM. Ant water when? Get over the ant water, dude. I'm not in California anymore. I don't have ants. 2021? I'm fucking up some good-ass brisket right now. I'm glad. I am actually really happy for you. I thought they were fancy women who were boring as a kid. Now, I can't play Need for Speed Underground 2, dude. It's gonna get, like, zero viewers. You're gonna be the only viewer. If it's decreasing, can we see your cat? No. No. Let's raise money to give Dag new ants. Yeah, that's what I'll spend it on. You know you want to? I just finished a playthrough. Give me, like, a... You give me like six months and I'll want to do another one. That game takes like 20 hours to beat. The way that I play it, at least. So I need to have like a six months refractory period before I can play that game again. Bet I'll remind you. Dude, I might not even be alive in six months. Forget live, alive. Alright, could be big money today. Unlikely that it's big money today. We'll see. We will see. I need to open up a P.O. box. What the hell? Is, nobody sent me shit when I had my last P.O. box. Now everyone wants a P.O. box back. 53. Tuesday p.m. 53. What does that do for us? Okie dokie. Okay, you gotta have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that it can't be decreasing. The bad news is that it can't be big spike. It can only be large spike or most likely fluctuating. Okay. So if it's fluctuating, that kind of sucks because I think that means I need to check every single like time frame. Well, no, I guess I can go to Thursday at AM if I really wanted to. Well, yeah, no, like... Yeah, fluctuating only gives you a maximum of 126, which is kind of bad. I'd kind of want more than that. Ideally, of these two, I'd rather it be small spike, but... Ah, uh, fuck it. I guess I gotta check, like, every single... time frame. Just to see. 
So I guess let's go Wednesday a.m. now. Kind of sucks. That's why fluctuating patterns are annoying. is because you don't know when the best day to sell is. Because it's random. What do we buy them for? 90. So anything above 90 is a profit. But, I mean, you want... 180 would be great. Because that'd double my profit. And that would put me pretty close to being a millionaire. In-game. Don't we send you ants and you eat them? No. Dude, fuck off. Time travel, like, 1158. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, I should have done that. And then wait a couple minutes for it to roll over to noon. That's actually a good idea. You're using your fucking head. Uh, these other fuckers. Although, if it was, like, a good pattern in the AM, I would only have two minutes to grab all my turnips and sell, so I'd probably want to give myself a little bit more time. Prediction, the best sell price will be 91? You know, that's profit, baby. That's profit. That is a, as, as tiny as it is, that is a profit. Alright, let's see. If it's, like... I don't know. I think we might figure out today what our pattern is. We might figure it out today. You know what? I think this game looks nice. This game does look nice. Has anyone ever said that this game doesn't look nice? For as nice as a fucking, like, Switch can look, yeah, it's a good-looking game. I mean, it's a, it's a Switch. It essentially has the hardware of an Xbox 360. Do you guys miss the era of Xbox 360 and, like, PS3 games trying to look, like, super realistic, but, like, their hardware just wasn't good enough? I have a bug on my screen. Oh, my God. Do you guys remember those games? How, like, every game that came out on those systems was really trying to put, push its hardware as hard as it can to look realistic, and it just, like, looked bad? At least in hindsight, it looks bad. 104. 104 Wednesday a.m. What does that do for me? Okay, that makes it even more likely that it's fluctuating. I don't know. Do I sell? Oh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't sell yet because there's still, if it is fluctuating, there's still a lot of days that it could be better. Yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's keep trying. Let's go, yeah, let's let's not sell yet. Even if 104 would be a profit, be a small one, I'd probably want to go a little bit higher than that. Why does everyone hate the Wii U? It was a fine console. Potential max is only 126. For a fluctuating, yeah, but there is also the admittedly small chance that it's still a small spike. Tell you what, if... This is, if this is like in like the 120s, I'll probably sell. If this is in like the 120s, I'll probably sell. I'll probably just sell because likely it'll be a fluctuating and I don't really want to take the chance. You finally convinced me to get Twitch to watch your streams. Welcome. Don't stray too far out of my streams because then you want to delete it. Also, yeah, the Wii U walked so that the Switch could sprint. I think a lot of technology was used in the Wii U that was used in the Switch. So, I think without the Wii U, you wouldn't have had the Switch. You know? It's a good console, even if it did exist completely co-independently of the Switch, you know? I think it was a good console. I think, it, I think what fucked it was being called the Wii U, you know? I think it just was not like the Wii enough to justify being called the Wii U, but so many people saw it as like a Wii, a, as a, as a Wii 2, you know? And they're like, well, I got a Wii, I don't need a Wii U. And also the game lineup wasn't fantastic for it for a while. 72. Ugh. 72. Okay, it's a 100% chance of fluctuating now. Okay, it's a 100% chance of fluctuating. So now if I get anything... From, okay, so the minimum is 81, and the max is 126. So every time frame that we go to now is going to be between 81 and 126. What do you think is like a price that I should settle on? 
What do you think is like a price I should settle on? Do you think like anything above like a hundred? Yeah, I think a hundred plus I should sell. One ten? I don't know. I'm thinking like one hundred and up. I should probably sell. I think one ten's a little risky. I think a hundred and up. I agree. All right, so anything a hundred and up, I'll sell. I think so. Anything over 95? That wouldn't be very good. It wouldn't be very good profit. 100 up is very, re is very like, reasonable to get. 95 is a little bit low-balling yourself, I think. But we'll see. May we might never get anything above, like, 90 if we're very unlucky. It's, it, we actually could, like, not make money this week. We could lose money. It's very unlikely, but it's possible. At least now we know what next week's pattern's going to be. Or, well, we know what's not likely going to be fluctuating. Which I think is the most likely pattern in any given week. Who the hell just sent me a friend request? I'm probably not going to answer that. You, you're in like a 70... You're in like a 70 person queue for your friend request to be accepted, so... Sorry. Alright. Alright, we want 100 and up. Ideally, 126 is the best that we can do. So, if you really want to hope, 126 is what you want. But anything over 100, I'm selling. Even if it's 100 flat. Joan controls the stoinks. Would you guys smoke a doink with Joan? I think I would. Joan passes you the boof. What do you do? Oh, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Oh! All right, well, 64. Well, that's not good. We have one, two, three, four more chances to get something respectable. No, our guaranteed minimum is 81. That's going to be the price. We're going to get at least one price this week. The rest of this week, that will be 81 or above is what I meant by that. All right. All right. We want... Yeah, we got four more chances. Four more chances of something de something decent. Dropping the sell minimum to 90? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It is actually... What's the prediction? Is the prediction, will I make a profit? Because actually... You know, it could go either way. Yeah, 126 is the dream sell price this week, which is kind of sad because it's not that good. It's not that good. Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh, that's good. That was that was probably the best finger crack I've had this year. Did you hear that? I went like this, and I think every single finger cracked. Did you hear that? Oh, that was good. I thought that was my bones. That was my bones. I went like this, and bro, every single one of them motherfuckers cracked. Oh, that was good. That was a fuck. Oh my god. That's... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's like a first kiss. Whew. That was like taking the spaghetti and... Cracking it in half right there. Alright, give me something 126 here, buddy. That's good. I will absolutely take 115. Yes, sir. I am 100% taking 115. A first kiss, dude. What are you talking? Why are you guys acting weird? Oh, I get it. Because you guys haven't had your first kiss. So that's why it's weird to you. Alright, 115. Very good. And I have some more outside. You break spaghetti? I'm not saying I break spaghetti. I'm just saying that's like the noise that it would make. 
But also, what's the fucking big deal about breaking spaghetti? Why does that make people mad? Dude, if my pot isn't big enough to fucking put the spaghetti full length in there, I'm gonna break the spaghetti. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Why do people get so uptight about that? I'm like a third generation Italian American, okay? I should be offended. It's the same noodle regardless. Exactly. What's the big deal? Oh, did you clip that? Oh, thank God, actually. I want to hear that again. I want to hear that crack. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, that was good. Holy shit, it sounded even better than I remember. Hang on. It's not that good. Ooh, dude, it's like popping bubble wrap. It's not that good. Ooh, dude. <laughs> that's good. Oh my god, that was crispy. Good god, that was amazing. Thank you for clipping that. Alright, it's done. Oh my god, you're Italian? No, actually, I'm, um... I learned recently... I think, what would it be if my grandfather... Who I never even knew on my mom's side, came from Poland. That would make me a third generation Pole, right? I actually didn't know this until recently. Alright, cool. That's 417,000. And we have... Well, we'll see what we get next week. It would make you an American, of course, right? I'd never go around identifying myself as a third generation Polish immigrant, but... You know what I mean. It'd make you very white. Yeah, I already knew that, though. Alright, so it's Thursday. Alright, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Alright, cool. I don't crack my fingers, I finger my crack. We are not the same. Ow. Someone redeemed hydrate. Well, it's a good thing I drank some water. It's funny when people define their whole lineage. That's a lot of words to say that you're pasty. On one hand, like, I kind of wanted to do those, like, DNA tests where you... And send it off to, like, 23andMe. But only for, like, the curiosity of seeing, like, where my ancestry is, you know? I'm not going to go around and have it come back and be like, oh, you're like 5% German. And then I can go around saying that I'm German. I was just curious. My ancestors are French and German. I think that you'll find that if you're an American, yeah, you'll have a lot of ancestors from pretty much everywhere in Europe. And then we all go back to like, what, Ethiopia, right? I took a 23 in me, and I did get some interesting things out of it, but mostly it told me I'm really fucking white. Exactly. I mean, in case you can't tell. I'm from all four parts of the UK. You're a little Scottish, you're a little Welsh, you're a little Northern Irish, and you're just the tiniest bit English. Alright. Where's old Daisy? Just the tiniest bit English. There you are. You raggedy bitch. What do we got? Ooh! Ew! That's the worst price you can get. Alright, well, I mean, that's kind of fair. I've gotten two 90s. Ew. That is yucky. Although, I think it makes it so that the highest prices that you can get are higher. So, I don't know. Whatever. Still gonna buy. And yeah, I was about to say, maybe I can go to next week and, like, get a better price, but then I won't know what my previous week's prices were, so... It's kind of no point. Kind of no point. If I took a DNA test and found out the reason I like bland food is because I'm mostly English... 
I saw this video of English kids trying, like, Southern American cuisine, and they were all like, What is this? This is a scone. This is a scone. No, it's a biscuit. This is a scone. How do you eat it? How do you eat a, a scone? A biscuit's a cookie. But they loved it. I saw the same video. Poor kids. And they were all, like, wearing, like, fucking suits and shit. You literally couldn't have made them look more British, dude. British children taste flavor for the first time. And then there's a lot of people in the comments of that video, like, being really mad that we were insulting their food. There's a lot of people very mad. Wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's all I can buy. Um, yeah, okay, so we're good. Alright, let's see here. First time buyer, no. Last week's pattern fluctuating. We bought for 110, which puts us at 35% chance of a small spike, 30% chance of a large spike. I like that. 20% chance of a fluctuating, and only 15% chance of a decreasing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're obviously hoping for this. Because look what the max is. 660 is the max. 660. Since we bought for 110, our price that we bought for is high, but also the potential price is high as well. 660. That's really good. Okay. So let's go Tuesday PM. Tuesday PM. I once had to make an English breakfast for cooking class, and it was interesting. Isn't, like, an English breakfast, like... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, p.m. Like, an English breakfast is kind of good on paper, right? Like, sausage, beans, you got, like, eggs, and... Like, toast? That sounds delicious! Why do they make it look so fucking awful when they make it, though? Beans are so gross, dude. Take the fart pill. Beans are great. Who would eat beans in the morning? Dude, beans are great. Oh, you know what I got from the store? And I'm actually excited to try them. I'm going to eat them after stream. Um, I got like these dried chickpeas. I got these dried falafel flavored chickpeas. I'm excited to try them. I'm fucking starving, but I don't want to cook. I mean, I don't want to tell you, like, DoorDash, but, like, you know, if it's been, like, a month since you've DoorDash something, I think you can afford it. You know? If you have DoorDash, what's, like, a concerning amount of DoorDash? What's, like, what, at what point would you, like, confront somebody for getting DoorDash too much? For me, it'd be, like, more than once a week. Like... And, like, I've been there. I've DoorDash more than once a week before. Like, I know. I, I was that person at one point. But, like, man, that's fucking expensive. You're doing that, like, every week. Two times a week? More than two times a week? Yeah, that's that's a lot. Like, that adds up, man. But if you do it, like, once... If you do it, like, once a month, dude, that's fine. Treat yourself, you know? That manager gets DoorDash every shift. Bro, you work at Fortune 500 company. All right, big money. 83. 83 Tuesday PM puts us at... Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, that's good, but that's scary. That's good. This is scary. I want to smile. I want to puke. And then this would be okay. And then this is like, it's fucking all over the place. You know, I'm really proud of myself though, guys. Because I'm getting emails from Uber Eats that is like, oh, please. I've been, this has been happening for like months now. They're like, oh, please come back. Please. Here's a special offer for you if you come back. It's really making me like, it's, it's if anything, it's making me not want to Uber Eat things. Because it's been so long since I've used them. They're begging me to come back. Okay, well, next one that we go to should be Thursday a.m. Thursday a.m. 
Are you still getting HelloFresh? I've paused HelloFresh until I move into my own place. But once I move in, I'll probably start it up again. Because... It was just so nice. Like, I'm not sponsored by them anymore, so, like, don't interpret this as me shilling. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a.m. I'm not trying to shill them. But it was nice to at least have, like, structured meals. And not having to go to the grocery store very much. I like meal prep services for that reason. Move-in day stream soon? Uh, soon? Probably not. It's fucking crazy out there, man. They want your business? Hold out long enough? They'll send you a whole ass $20 gift card? Will they really? Dude, they might have already. It's been a long time. What's up, Foolsley? How are you doing? Maybe. I should go through those emails that they're sending me. Maybe they did offer me like a $20 gift card. In which case, fuck yeah, I'll Uber eat something. It takes out, like, the price... That takes out, like, the ridiculous fees that they charge. It's so insane, dude. I get Uber Eats or, or DoorDash or whatever. And they got, like, processing fee, service fee. Of course, you got to tip them. And then, like, uh, delivery fee. And I'm like, wait, what's delivery fee and what's service fee? Are they not the same thing? No. Uh, fucking, I don't know, dude. You just want fucking greasy food or not? And I'm like, yeah, I want the greasy food. And then there's, like, California fee. When I lived in California, it, I in the city that I lived in, it would be city name fee. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean? Fucking San Francisco fee? Are you, what does that mean? Convenience fee. Yeah, that's called the delivery fee. The fact that I'm having someone deliver it to my door. Alrighty. We want big money. Big money. Huge money, even. Streamer fee. Fucking, they got... Uh, we're, we're fucking, dude. That guy got me. Oh. 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 What do you think, guys? You think I should sell? Oh. Should I hold out for the three prices that it could possibly... There, The maximum turnip price in this game is 660 I got 657 There's only three prices that it could have been that is better than that. Jesus Christ. Well, that's why 110 buying prices aren't that bad. That is ridiculous. What is this going to sell for? That might be a million just in itself, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it is! Just the one... Oh my god. The Oh my Jesus, good lord. One... I, that's only half of the turnips that I bought. And it was 1.3 million just in that. Oh my god, well dude, uh, well I'm going to put this in the bank and then we'll stop the timer. Jesus Christ. I mean, I was hoping that, like, we would get it confirmation that we get a large spike. I wasn't expecting the large spike to happen. Wow. All right. In three hours, eight minutes, and about 20 seconds, we are now an Animal Crossing... Help. Millionaire. Ah. Pause. There we go. Three hours, eight minutes, and 26 seconds by using turnips. That's not bad. If you, you can start a new island and in three hours have a million bells. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And that's... Dude, we're gonna have two million. Let's fucking sell the other batch of turnips. Let's see how much we totally made. Yes, yeah, sell the other... Uh, of course. Three hours to become a millionaire in this game? That's pretty good, man. Considering, like, you didn't use online, you didn't use glitches, you didn't use anything. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. 657 is the highest price I've ever seen. Without, you know, hacks. I've seen, like, hacked islands with, like, insane prices. 
but 657 legit is, I mean, only 658, 659, and 660 is better. Because you need the 1 in 20 chance of getting 110 as your turnip price. And then you need, you know, 6 fucking close to 660. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Sell the other half. We're going to be a we're going to be a multi-millionaire. Cuz that was 1.3 million and this is going to be like another 1 million. Yeah, we're a multi-millionaire. That one batch turned us into a multi-millionaire. Jesus. And what did we start with? Does anyone remember? I think we had 30,000 bells in our first when we first bought turnips, we had like 30,000. You turned 30,000 into 2. Point, like 4 million. That's how broken the turnip market is in this game. And I don't think people realize it enough. Like, you might have bad weeks, but, like, if you use the turnip profit, you're going to make money. As long as you check your prices, like, every day, you'll make money. It's really easy. Two, almost two and a half million. What was that blue thing in your shop? Stocks IRL can be like that? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, like, but, like, not really reliable, though. Yeah, like, you can invest in the next Apple, but, like, okay, you can't really track that, though. And then nobody really, no one really likes turnips in real life. Dude, turnips are ass. I hate them. Oh, what is that, actually? That is a cute little vending machine. Crane game. Well, how much is it? 24,000! <laughs> Do I look like I'm made of money? Holy shit, dude. Get out of here. I can't afford that. It's even easier with Nintendo Online plus Discord service. Yeah, but I made a rule to not use online. Pick turnips are great. No. Oh, yeah. Honestly, root vegetables outside of like spring onions, um, leeks and green onions. Blech. I don't really like them. Like beets. Oh, I'd rather like. I don't know. I think I'd rather like. I don't know what I'd rather do than, like, eat a beet. I'd probably rather stub my toe than eat a beet. Like, really hard, too. Carrots? I don't like carrots, but I can tolerate them. Um, anyway. Yeah, we did it. Um, I think... It's not gonna be as quick, I don't think, but I was thinking tomorrow... Well, may, I don't know. May, it'll be pretty comparable, honestly. Do you guys think that doing this with Pokey would be... I don't know. Maybe. Because it'd be a lot less time traveling, and that would save a lot of time. We'll do this tomorrow, and we'll try to do it with Pokey to Bell conversions. Because that makes you a lot of money, too. Problem is that that kind of takes a while, because you can only transfer a certain amount of Pokey to Bells every day. We'll see. We'll test it tomorrow. We'll see which one's faster.